Hi, Jules. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Addie. Hello. Hey, everybody. Hi. I just wanted to give a shout out to one of my friends. Anyway, shout out done. Okay. All right. So there we go. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm good. good. Hi, guys. I'm doing hey. great. I've got all eight legs. I have my, my Grimace McDonald's shirt on. Oh, is that what that is? Yes, it is. Stand up again. You oh, wait. Oh, it. happy birthday. How did you get that? Um, I, it was a gift that I got. Special, special gift. Uh, From what? McDonald's? Just saying. Uh, so if only. You were, wait a minute. If you're a good one on the app, do you get that? Only oh. official McDonald's people can have this. So I'm feeling good about myself. So. I kind of. My birthday's in two weeks. I want a purple shirt. Where is Grimace, Cody? Oh, you have to spook um, Caddy. Caddy. I want a purple shirt. <laughs> oh, you cheating on me with a cat? Except for the boxes. <laughs> Okay, we well Grimace is gone. He's on vacation. So uh but, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, Shut up. If he has a Grimace costume, he needs to get his ass out here. Well, I know. Look, it's just it's it's what they wore for like the Grimace thing. Okay. Is there a for your birthday? John, she doesn't uh, know about the Grimace thing in you and me. Along um, with yeah. Well, when they re-release like the old school Happy Meal toys from like the eighties, uh they all got four eyes for some reason. Like, I guess the clothing designer they branded with, like, that's what he does on all his stuff. He, he gives everything four eyes. So, like, Grimace had four eyes. Hamburger had four eyes. Uh, Birdie had four eyes. And, like, that new person, the one that Maria W. had, <laughs> had four eyes. So, it was a little creepy. So, that's the story behind the Grimace. Yes. Yeah, that Grimace it. was kind of creepy. I don't like eyes. I talk to mouths. I do not look at eyes. And so every time he puts this thing up, <laughs> there's four of these. I've also realized that Addie has a problem with holes. She has that ah. phobia of holes. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about all the plants that I have with holes in them. And she said, I'm scared to death of that stuff. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. <laughs> Oh, the monsteras are okay because that's different. It's those stupid things that are like yeah. a pod with the yeah. uh, beehives. Those aren't good either. <laughs> Triple phobia, baby. Okay. Um. So let me say hi to everybody, what? and then that we'll we'll start the festivities. Oh, there. Well, that's my grimace right there. There you go. That's grimace. Well, you can't see his four eyes. There they are. And and I I I just I have to do. Can I you know. just bring this picture up Thank real quick? You, JJ. I'm going to take Grimace. you here, John. Of this Grimace? is somebody in somebody that lives in West Chicago, Illinois, purchased these pieces from the old Playland, and they're in their front yard. So if you see, they have the Grimace and they have the Merrimack cheese. I won't show you the Merrimack cheese. Oh, I just like have that's it. like my dream. Like if I ever had it's a backyard, like, no, I'm going to take that. you there. I'm going to no, take people, you there sometime. People do that. Like I'm in like a bunch of McDonald's groups, like on Facebook and stuff like that, and. Um, and you'll spend they'll spend like five thousand ten thousand dollars on that still... on the mayor mccheese jail oh no was it mayor mccheese yeah no no it was um captain My big mac. from the mayor mccheese big, and captain big mac like the, captain mac he had the jail and um they'll spend like ten thousand dollars on that or like the hamburger seats that they used to have like you know in the those kid like five, those yeah. good luck getting one of those for like yeah, under those, 10 grand because yeah, like oh know. dang Dang, I guess we better do the intro because okay. look at all the money's rolling in. Uh -oh. Thank you, JJ. Thank you, Mia Clark, yes, and thank right. you, so Brooklyn. Uh Curtis. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope. We haven't even started it yet. I haven't. But you started talking about Grimace, and I love Grimace. Okay. Me too. Curtis. Oh nope. Okay. Hold on. Oh, nope. That's not working. All right. Why is my is okay? Hide current. Okay. Nope. Okay, here we go. We're going to do it this way. Curtis, hello. Barbie, Linda S., Cher Rose, KLP in Cincinnati, Dobby, Crystal <laughs> Light, Celia, Sudi. Oh, oh, Sudi's got something to say. Oh, yeah. We got rid of Sudi a while ago. Hey, she's Jesus, a, she's a bad seed. Damn. She doesn't like okay. me either. Grifter. Oh, here we go already. Uh, you quit. You quit. Listen, and, this uh, is his channel. If he wants to quit and come back, he can. He's over 18 and he can do what the well, no, fuck I, he wants to do. First off, like, I like what, what, why are we wasting our time here with, with stuff with 30 people watching? I, we all better things to do. And I said was why when I find something interesting that would elicit views, then I'll talk about it. Uh, first off, uh, the laptop I got 
on the 20th, did that, did a, I think we were doing a thing about what? A show. Addie I think there. it was Housewives or something. There. And, and, like, and I got the, a beautiful gift from the eight people and uh, they wanted me to open it before my birthday. They wanted me to use it, you know, because obviously- For I needed- your birthday. So, but that was on March 20th. And as I recall, I've done a birthday live, I don't know, the last four years, this year, well, 23, 22, 21, all on my channel. So why is this different than any other birthday? Because I think it's not- an early birthday gift. So thanks, Sudi. Mar- Mary Barcelona. Hi, Johnny. Hi. No, oh, Johnny- Sudi doesn't like Siwa either. Well, equal Sudi, opportunity hater. Like, I don't know what to tell you, sweetheart. Like, you know, and also uh, on my birthday on the 27th, I just wasn't feeling good. And allergies are really bad. Like the trees or the pollen, the tree pollen is just kicking my ass. So I had no ambition to go live on the 27th. And then yesterday I felt like crap all day and all night. And then I'm like, you know what? We'll just go live tonight uh, and do it now. And I'll just suffer through it. <laughs> but uh, okay. I have like 8 million tissues like by me. And, uh, but okay. Uh, and I wasn't Did even going to get any weed gummies. Cause those usually help with allergies. I wasn't even going to do the live with everything. They me and they're like, oh, you didn't do your birthday live. Like, you know, and I'm like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, uh, John, I did go live on your birthday and I played like three or four happy birthday John songs. And, but then at the end of it, this girl that this one of these rabbit holes were down, she completely doxed herself badly. So I privated the stream. But yeah, we played like three or four. I'm like, well, if he feels like cupping in, he can. But happy birthday. Oh, God, I, was, I, I was not feeling good at all. I was I like and then I think um, I got sent a couple of the the things from your channel and they were, they were nice. Uh, but I, I just didn't. I, didn't well, that's why I said no pressure. Thank but, you, MW. Thank you, Patricia. With I, the I, I will get to the super chat in a second. I promise I'm, I'm halfway through roll, not even halfway through roll call. I, I know. Say. I just had to say. I am. Me so. Rami. Hello. Okay. Wait, blah, 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 blah. And me talking all this much is not going to make a roll call any faster. Uh, that's on me, guys. Sorry, Sheila. Hello, he- healthy chick. Hi, Ash. Hi, Bougie Brooklyn, Velvet, Big- Mikey D, Brew, me is mommy, Kimmy, MW, MW, MW. Yes, I did get you. I did get it. Thank you. Um, there's no way to reply to it. Thank you. Also, Gina, thank you. A- Hello, Addy. Not my real name, Christina B, Roro, Mia Clark, Lisa loves her pup, Celia. Mel B, Jewel, Steven, Linda S, Nikki, Elsie, Linda, Pipsqueak, Rabbit of Chaos. I'm trying to go. How full? I have a lot more to go, don't I? <laughs> Neil Moon, fine. Geneva, Red Sox, Sarah. I can't even like read the comments. I'm trying to get through everybody. I know I woke up this morning and my left eye was swollen shut. My allergies are kicking my butt this year. Oh, they're horrible. Coffee loves my company. Anna, Barbara M, Snurk, Rita, Julie, Shade, Amanda. Okay, JJ, was that the first one? Thank you. <laughs> Mia, thank you. Rivera Rose, hello, John D. That used to be my name. I used to be John D back in the day. Brooklyn's World, thank you. I'm like, Yates, my marriage. What stuff. Hold on. Kendra, hi. Oh, my, my arm is getting tired. Feel bad for me. Um, oh, I see the studio comments. So now I know where I am in the chat is. Yes, got you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. What a C. Patty C. Uh, thank you, Shana Shauna. <laughs> um, pineapple. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, wow. Okay, we're oh, so good. You're on vacation. Yay. I, I probably missed a lot of your comments. 
and now we're caught up. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little green. I like this one. Look at how wide set my eyes are. I do. I do. I do like that. Um, Dobby, I'm, wear, I, I'm wearing a tie just for your birthday. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Thank you, Holistic. Um, Dobby got me some candles, which are like better than the Yankee Candle ones. They're Black Cherry, which I want to show. And then, Ooh, I love Black Cherry. I, call, I opened a couple of things because... I didn't know if I was going to do this slide, to be honest with you. It's like, you know, feel good. Open it, open a gift. I'm like, okay, well. And then Susie, okay, Susie Q. This is going to be fun because I'm going to break this out in a little bit. Wait, what is it? Oh, I'm, well, I'm going to have, a, I'm going to do a little thing on it in a little bit. Is it got uh, a case? It, it does have a case. Thank you, Mary Barcelona. Um, it, it does have a case, and I'm gonna play it. Let's see, shortly, <laughs> shortly. So, yeah, like I, don't, I just didn't understand like the confusion with the whole, like, I don't know. I, 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 I've done birthday lives for as long as I've been on YouTube, so I don't understand. The big hubbub about Why they it. Thought it. Maybe because they expected it to be actually on your birthday, but you were a little under the weather. I was. And honestly, I um, wasn't going to do it at all. Oh, is that a fucking tambourine? No, I already have a tambourine. No, I thought it was like a big band. Like Tambourines over here. Oh, you do have a nice tambourine. I guess. I, uh, dur, dur. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Um. But, uh, my cousin used to play that song all the time. <laughs> Break out the guitar. Yes. So I have this on the ready. And uh, I don't know. I, you are taking a very long time with them. What? With what? What do you got on your lap? What was the gift? Oh no, I'm waiting. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna break this out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, already show it. Very impressive, though. My favorite instrument. Um, oh, look at Don. Thank you, Donna. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Jules, that's on you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Jules, I don't I'm, even know who da Donna. I don't know who Jules, you are. I'm going to debit you that money, okay? I'm going to get you an invoice <laughs> on PayPal in about like 15 minutes. Donna, troll better. <laughs> I don't even know who Donna is. No, I really, I really didn't like, you know, <coughs> especially after like, you know, when I went live on Monday, cause I really didn't have anything good to say. <coughs> um, but then like my, um, my, what? Uh oh, I kind of showed a little bit of it. My, uh, I know it's like you <laughs> piqued my interest. No. Did you see me? I'm like, I like the color of that. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I'm not good with what I don't good. That's I've got my eyeballs on it. I'm like, what's he got? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and just to expunge what I've. Uh, oh, Donna, Jules, Jules. Donna, I don't recognize you from my stream, and I don't believe I got a super chat from you today. So I believe you're here to uh, start trouble. Now, what, 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 my moderators, do you recognize uh, Donna? I don't recognize you, Donna. Who are you, Donna? I don't where you been. Hey, that doesn't mean much if I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping these are the same as piano chords. Oh, I think this is going to be fun. Whatever that is, it's going to be. Oh. <gasps> a ukulele. Oh. Better than a ukulele. <laughs> uh, Look at this. Oh, Jewel, I bet you would lie before John's <laughs> cause trouble. Jana, get out of here. You guys get rid of her. She's just there she goes. She's not. I'm going to go look at my super chats, and I guarantee you not one will be Donna. There was only a few. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. 
us. There she goes again. Me and Pipsqueak are thinking the same things. Is it an accordion? <gasps> oh my gosh. No. That would be, oh my gosh, I'm on my way to New Jersey if he got an accordion. No, I mean, an accordion <laughs> is way too much. Better. <laughs> Although I can't play the piano. I don't I don't think I could do like the squeezing and the piano playing at the same time. That's just a lot of work. Nuda <laughs> made a lot of money off playing the, uh, the, um, the accordion. Remember Judy, Judy Tenuta, the comedian? Jules oh, Ellis. Judy Tenuta. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, and then what's his face? Emo Phillips. They were together. She had like the accordion with her name on the side. It was in all yeah, of her. Like, they used to up. live over here. They used to live in Downers Grove, real close to me. Age age yourself without aging yourself. Judy Tenuta. That that's that hey, and I ran into Emo exactly. Phillips at um I was at Milwaukee Summerfest and I was sitting on the lake and he's just waltzing by looking like where's Waldo? He did. Because he does, he does, he did look like. Is he still alive, by the way? Because you know they were married. Who? Uh, Judy Tenuta. Oh, wait, no, I'm making, I want to make sure I get all like, I thank everybody for MW. I oh, got yes, you. This yeah, celery yeah. is yeah, funny. I'm looking at Thank you. Um, Wendy H., thank you for the Cash App. Uh, Mel B., thank you for the PayPal. Sorry. I want to make sure oh, I My favorite all. butterfly. Oh, the social butterflies that they call it. Well, I have a little hat that goes with this. <gasps> Harpsichord, maybe that's fun too. We used to have one of those in seventh grade music. I know. Now I have to get like lessons. It's like you know, but how do you have an nice. instrument this grand? Wait. Um, See, you're getting me all excited. Oh, my father-in-law had an accordion. I always like Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk was a staple of my of my household growing up. I kind of wish it wasn't, but it was. Yes. My grandparents loved Lawrence Welk, and so did does me dad. Yeah, I know. And Jules gave me the link for like the the, the filters and all. And yeah, I just, and he still hasn't done it. Damn it. There's a link. I have it, but I always forget to turn it on. I have no idea. I mean, I have. I have oh no yeah, it's really that. not that. It's I, I. don't know if it's easier for Mac people than PC people, but it's super super easy. Bing, did a bang, did a boom, and here I am. My BFF growing up, her dad played accordion. Well, my friend, her her ex husband, who was a horrible man, um, he used to play an accordion. It was a big deal. There's people that play on the street with accordions too sometimes. Really? You you find you them? All, become a, should we start a street band? Lots of street accordion players out there by you, just you know, hustling. Uh in the city. Do they come off oh, everything? On like the the, the 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 overpass, like you know, when you get off and like they're like, you know, I'll wash your windshield, they'll play the accordion for like, you know, fifty cents or something like that. Yeah, um, and maybe maybe we'll find Heather and Xavier in one of those bands. Ooh. Oh yeah, she's still. By the way, real quick, she's still in the hotel. Um, I think that she and everybody's upset because uh, all of she's about to get herself an apartment or a place. Has she's she really working the system. Uh, I believe she went and saw the baby today because she's posting new pictures of her and the baby. Um, but uh, ooh, we oh, and uh, by the way, real quick, um, right before I went on to here, I noticed that Daisy posted um, in her story on Instagram six hours ago and it's just a picture of her in front of a bunch of flowers oh no see what i am i'm see what i'm going to like be like the the boardwalk uh bard is what i'm gonna be no, sorry jules the boardwalk bard yeah it says uh, a quick hello from the flower fields today oh actually it was four hours a day four hours ago so i don't know maybe she's at a still at a place and there's a flower field that would be a nice place if you're at a behavioral place and they have a big flower field to just walk by, that would be probably good for the soul. All right, yeah, so, I'm done with a flower field. I <laughs> commented back to her, so we'll see if she responds. She usually does, if she's around, so we'll see. You guys, I really like my wings. This is the first time I'm using this one. They're very pretty. I wish I mean, the background wasn't so busy. Uh -oh, uh -oh, I heard a string. Very tired. I heard a string. <laughs> it's got strings. <laughs> It's got straight. See, he's not good at this, and I've got really good ears and eyes. You just—you didn't think I was paying any attention. 
The chords are so much different. Whatever. It's got strings. <laughs> I'm in a very animated mood today, guys. I haven't been for a few days, and I'm pretty on today, so I'm sorry in advance. No, don't be. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I, I, but it's the birthday boy. I can't be too extra. No, you can be extra. Okay. It's, I don't think I'm, being extra. I'm sure be. I don't think I'm being extra enough to be honest with you. Well, so. as we got to bring you into my level. Where <laughs> Cody, go get the man some gummies. Cody good man. for for the sinuses. Cody's in the uh he's in the bedroom. Cody. <laughs> Cody, get your grimace yeah. costume on and come on out. <laughs> There's no better what than a Cody what. But John, back to the grimace thing though. The people that live in West Chicago that have this grimace thing outside, they don't even keep it up. Can you imagine having the original Playland grimace and Mayor McCheese and not keeping them look good? Well, like no, they're all grown up stuff all around them and rusty. First off, like if you're gonna like you know put that in your yard, you better upkeep with it. And but like John's I would, like yard, it'll be in my living room. I, well, I didn't want it in the front yard. It would have to be like in the backyard, like you know, for obvious reasons. Because like I, I if I was a neighbor, I wouldn't want to see like a McBur a hamburger McPrison, like in like you know the front yard of my neighbor's house. Like when I'm having people coming over for a christening, you know. Oh, oh, don't mind them. They're just the crazy ones, you know. I mean, we've had our our chances. Like I could have made this house. Super crazy in the front. <laughs> kind of made old mama's family with the pink flamingos and uh, just went to town. But uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Lots of information was just chucked at me right before this live started. So hi. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot. Like a lot. Yeah, she is supposed to be in treatment, no. Barbie, but it could be that flower field could maybe be something outside the place. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they can walk outside. I know one of the places I was at, you were able to do that. Not all the time, but still you were able to. I mean, because being out in the sun and getting fresh air, it does make you, it, it help. It's good for mental health. Wait, I'm missing I'm some pieces of my instrument. I'll be right back. You, you guys can take over. Stop teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, can you change the filter? I know, Nikita. I was thinking the same thing. It's they move too much. The wings pretty, are making me pretty. very tired. They're moving so fast. Well, no, they're they're getting on my nerves too. Because I, <laughs> it's funny because I could see it on the actual Snapchat thing, and I was looking. I'm like, man, that thing's pissing me off. Hold on. It's pretty though. What have you been up to, ready. Eddie? Oh, I fell. Doing my, uh, what do you call it, rebranding on Monday. Oh. I'm going to be covering the Chad Daybell trial on my channel. Nice. So getting ready for that. <laughs> nice, everybody. Set your alarms for Monday. <laughs> Excuse me. Set your alarms for Monday. Excited. <laughs> Are you good? I know I seem like it. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the week. I know I'm going. I oh, know. Same. <laughs> same here. Wait, same in here. electric heart? <laughs> oh, you didn't see me? I know. Oh, you thought it was just the background. You never yeah. didn't move. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to solicit uh, birthday money. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was trying to find one. I'm like, oh, let's stop there. And then I found this one. And you know what? This creator, they didn't do this one very good. I mean, because look at and like when I turn my head, ah, uh, look at the mouth. Oh, it, it's, it's, it, it, turns, yeah, it doesn't work. Like I'd have to be like straight on and then go, ah, yeah. even then it doesn't look right. And then look, smeared body. But yeah, I that's, like not, little, that's not very good. It's cute, though. Mm -hmm. It's cute, but yeah, it wasn't good. Because I, I told you guys I was fishing for all my old filters because I lost them. What time, Addie, on Monday? Do you know? Yes, it'll be um, the, the live will be, I'll be streaming the live. So it'll, uh, 
I don't know what time it starts. I need to look. I'll put out a tweet, okay. a tweet or an IG or whatever, or put it on my community, probably all of it, and give the okay. time of when it's um, starting. But I'll start about 30 minutes earlier. Okay. To get going on it. This I'll put weird. it out. <clears throat> so this I, is the weirdest uh, one. Idaho time, I think it is. So I'll get it. Just follow me on Twitter. It's all the same name that you see. I made everything the same. So I didn't have to remember too much. Valise <laughs> Navidad. No, I'm 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 not I'm not dressed, Siwa. Siwa, did you want to come up? Yeah, Mia, I was wondering why she wasn't up here. Mia, is that trial is gonna it was set to be a 10 month trial. It could possibly go into next year. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I text you the link, Siwa. Under the sea, under the sea, things will get better when it yeah, is Rico trial. Yes. Ooh, la, la, Ricos la, la, are crazy. <laughs> and all that jazz. Are we still waiting for the? What are we waiting for? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> Do you know that they do not have a birthday Barbie? I was looking for a birthday Barbie. They don't have one. Oh, wow. This is funny because it looks backwards on mine. Hi. There's not that many nice. There's not any good Barbie filters on there either. There's a few okay ones, but like nothing. I, I can't find anything birthday other than that piece of cake I was the other day. Yeah. Do you, want, you, want, you rocking them Puma slides? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Melby. Talk of YouTube, see what those Puma slides. You got them Puma slides on. You got that slide action happening. Slide right? is mommy. Thank you. You tapping them slides down. Crisscross. Me is mommy. Oh. My other instruments getting tuned at the moment. Hold on. On to I really one. wish this one had a background. If you guys are wondering about the snap cam filters, get on YouTube and put snap cam for and then whatever computer you have. Google and it. it should should come up. There should be some a video or two to come up and you just follow the instructions. Oh, that's what I did. I'm sure that's what Jules did too. Did you say lap cam? Snap, snap cam. cam. Oh, snap cam. Whoa. Mm -hmm. okay. Charlie Angle. <laughs> Hi, Charlie Angle. You're doing what? Uh, happy that? birthday. I hope this year is all of your dreams. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, you're there. Oh, wait, no, she got the jeweled black sandals that she loves. Okay. Not the, she bejeweled her sandals. Not the hot pink puma slides, guys. Oh, I think black ones with, with hot pink bejeweled on them would look really cool. Mm hmm. I'll get my bejewel gun out ASAP if you need it. We'll get the, we'll get going on there. Right yeah, everybody, Tony Ann was very upset that we were doing no stream on your birthday. There was everybody's like, it's his birthday. What's going because we you reminded everybody like a thousand times it was 327. <laughs> oh, and then like, like 327 oh. came and everybody's like, What? Where is he? Surprise. <laughs> I honestly wasn't going to do it at all, even tonight. And then uh, everyone kept texting me, like, so no birthday live? Like, huh? I'm like, oh, oh, oh did you want one? So, like, uh, so, <laughs> here we are. Uh, I, you know, I, it's my, my only official birthday live of Sudi. Sorry uh, for you uh, that uh, I did thank people for a birthday gift earlier. Um, but you know, you guys have my uh, we dead to rights, I suppose. No, I'm thinking, John. Yeah. I'm thinking this, bu I'm this thinking. bug collecting money on her on her stream before his birthday. Like, do you even know what you're saying? They both already got new computer, 
Now they expect birthday money too. Wow, new computer is not enough. Mind what? your business. Where, what? <clears throat> Mind your business. John, I think I, I need a bee dazzler. I want to be dazzled as bee for you. <laughs> so look, it's a wooden bee. I think I need to get some bee dazzles and put I think I am. Can somebody get me a bee dazzler? No. Just know birthday, when he gets mad at you, it's going into a million pieces. Just know that. Oh, it's too little for that. It's very little. It won't oh, be a million. Oh, It'll there's like nothing too, too large or too small for John Yates. Let me tell you. Just half a million. Look at it. It's it's cute. It's oh, a little bee. It is cute. It's a little bee. A little stinger. Yeah, I just thought about that. I was like, oh my gosh, I think I am going to bedazzle this bee. Because we were talking about bedazzling with the slides and I just got excited. I'm sorry, am I in the wrong here for doing a birthday live? Because no, I, you're not. They're, no, just, you're not. they're, they're trying to get it excited. They're just trying yeah. to get you excited. So this is what I'm YouTube is for. Like, yeah. You get to give the money they wish to give to whomever they want to give to them. And that's, just, that, that, Move on. To open up immediately. Uh, and that's I, what uh, that's what super chats and super stickers are for. That's yeah, what YouTube so made them for. Like I don't understand. So I shouldn't be doing this live. YouTube would like all you guys to send super chats. It has nothing to do with. Yes, and guess Remember, what, guys? On my birthday, too. why are you upset? We're going to do this on my birthday too. too. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to be dropping Jules's cash out just like she did mine on on her stream on my birthday. So yeah, fuckers, nobody go. cares. <laughs> it's just weird. Thing is all. It's okay. Oh really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, so so suck on that, fuckers. <laughs> that's how it is. That's just how it is. That's how it's going to be. And I'm going to bedazzle this bee for him. I'm peeling the stickers off the back of it. I, I, I just don't get it. I got a, I got a gift. They're What's very, it, it's just, it's a lot of very. I got, I got that gift people. a week before my birthday on the 20th. I got the computer on the 20th, a week before. So. And he had no idea that was happening either. And they got. No, he had no clue. Some of us. I had no clue. <laughs> Because they got me, they got it for me on the twentieth. Because they knew on the twenty first when I got my YouTube check, I was gonna go buy a new one. So they beat me to it. Um, yes, I know it was. And then I thank everybody <laughs> for it. On the live it was very unexpected and very generous. Um, and then we continued on with whatever show we were talking about for that live. Um, so now, according to these people, I can't be live because I got a computer. I didn't expect. A week before my birthday. No, huh? they're only saying that because they just have nothing to talk about. So they. I mean, it's not a puppy party or anything. I mean. Yeah, like, which I've never had. <laughs> same. Not even well, a kitty right. party. And when exactly got, a puppy party. And when we got Georgie, let me tell you something. That was after someone got had a puppy party, and we got Georgie, and everyone's like, "Well, do a do a uh, do a," and that's when I was so friends with this person. And they're like, do like a cat baby shower. I go, no. That ain't it. I, I, I flat out said, no, no. And that a was computer and a cash app. There you go, Barbie. And that was way after that happened when I got Georgie because someone just had a doggy, <laughs> a doggy, a doggy baby shower, whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, oh, you have Georgie now. Now you can do a kitty uh, baby shower. I said no. That ain't it. No. <laughs> Never. That, that no. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> Georgie is just fine. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do any better. I'm going to get two of these bees. I'm going to be dazzle one for Cody and one for John. Suck on that. They're going to love that one. The <laughs> bee is going to be dazzle a bee. Yep, I am. See the great oh, ideas. They pouring out right. my brain. <clears throat> Hello, Steven. You know, it's just a bunch of jealousy. Right, Drazo. It's always nice whenever the hubby gets to do overtime hours. It's always nice. <sighs> No, it's ridiculous. And they just they're just doing it for a reaction. Yeah, I agree. Like, oh my God, do you see them in their chat? Lauren Marie. Look, 
John no, Yates. No, I didn't see Bob because Yates. I could give them no he time of day. More money for timber than he did his own birthday. What? Oh, Lauren Marie. God. Lauren Marie is very, she, that one, that one, the, the hate runs very, very deep in the belly on that one. See what understands what I'm talking about on that. She gets it. Holy hey, Hello. Hello. Don't get quiet just because I got here. <laughs> no, no, I get that one. I'm good. How's everybody? Like, it's so crazy. Like, they talk about, like, you know, the, you, you talk about the timber thing, about the the, babe, the the puppy baby shower. I said, no, I would never even, I said, no, I would not going to do that for Georgie. And now they turn that into John Yates is mad that Timber got more money on his baby shower than he's getting right now for his birthday. Like, how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> and I guarantee work? you that's not the case. Oh, see, and that just makes you get more money. Roxanne. How does Thank that you. work? I, I feel like they they just come up with anything. They do. It's ridiculous. You know, and the sad you could have put Georgie under your shirt and did a cat <laughs> reveal. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't having a dog baby shower was the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard of, and that's why I wanted no part of it, and that's why I wasn't even in that chat that night because I thought it was the stupidest fucking thing I ever saw. A doggy baby shower. Notice I wasn't there that night. And that, that was for a reason. That's when I was friends with her because I thought it was ridiculous. Where are you reading this from on Reddit? No, I, I was just thinking back to when that happened two years ago when we were still friends and like she was pissing at me because I wasn't there. I'm like, it's it's ridiculous. Like this is, you know, people say that grifter and, and scamming and this, and then you're going to pull, pull this, a doggy baby shower. You're not helping your cause here. Yeah. And well, well, they're going to sell it to me. So fuck them. I'm going to get whatever I can because I don't want to pay for it. So Of course. Of course. I sent her stuff. Um, hey, the 10 heads in the chat and wants to wish you a happy birthday. Look at, look at all the free time, the big old 10. Hello, Wisco chick, and happy birthday, she says to you. Oh, well, I'm happy that you are still not back. <laughs> We're just waiting for the zinger on that one. <laughs> Look call? at Brooklyn's comment. She I'm asked me to. Yeah, I'm, in my, me I'm in my living room pacing. Don't pace. Sit down. No, I'm sitting now. Here, I'm, I'm fine. I'm here. I don't know why my avatar keeps going away. Here, it's fine. Like, did you get it weird that, like, you know, and the sad part is that, like, you know, yeah, you know, like the ultra sad part is that they're doing these lives and they're all talking about it right now about a birthday party that I'm about to have. You know, like circle back to like high school or whenever you might have been in this situation. It's very high schooly in my books when you weren't invited to a party. It's like I you don't know. You're not like me, John. I would go the other route. I'd be like, "Hey, Brock, no, I know you missed me. That's why you're trying to celebrate over well, there." Well, maybe you should be friend the nurse because to me, what this screams is you weren't invited to the party and now you're sitting and looking through the window in the backyard yes. to so yes. i agree with so that thirsty yes. to be a part of it like that you'll do anything with no shame and you'll sit there like you know and we had a it friend that somebody, she misses you in Come high school on. we actually had a party where like it wasn't my party where like somebody wasn't invited and then they came and we're looking and they went to the backyard and they were looking through the window and then i mean obviously they got tore up for it because it was you know <laughs> you know why put yourself in that situation you were you you know but this is this reminds me of that like you are not invited to this party so you're looking through like the, the figurative windows into this live just a bunch of scorn people who wish they could be here and can't be because nobody wants you here and that's like the that's like the truth behind it like you know i i couldn't even imagine doing a live and going live while it's brooke's birthday or ann's birthday or whoever's and 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 taping it while they're live and filming it while they're live. And I mean, that's just, 
here's the thing. I think that she wants to be your friend again, but she can't because she's got the other two down her throat. Thank you. Oh, well, she's a hundred percent jealous. She doesn't like it because their side is that's they're not very much fun over there. No, I mean it's just not. really sad to me. Like you know, and again, Bash like you know, every live that they have, all you hear is bashing. It's crazy. It, it is, is MPT. Like you I know, used to say, it was negative two years ago when I like exited that bullshit. Now it's like a bazillion times worse than when I told them all they had the mob mentality. It's just crazy. But we shouldn't go there tonight. We should not. We should have fun instead. Oh, well, no, yeah. Like, well, it is what it is, I guess. You know, I, I end up down a rabbit hole of just talking negative when we should be talking positive. Thank you, Potato. Um, it, it's like, it, it's what I've been saying this whole time. You know, no, you know, and you haven't heard me talking about Brooke, but this is this and when you're a witness. And let me say this. Also, like, you know, I I I, I planned this last night. Um, I think at like, you know, six o'clock last night. So like 26 hours ago or 20, however many it was. Uh, and it was planned. And a couple hours ago, um, it's brought to my attention that Brooke has to do this live while I'm live. And I'm like, why? You know, and Brooke, you know, your channel, I guess you thought you're going to come back to YouTube, like whatever, carrying you on their shoulders and the, the queen of hate is back. But look at your, look at your channel. You know, it's not great. And clearly, when you have just a bunch of felons in your chat, which describes your background, I mean, I mean, also, Brooke, in all honesty, you had you were arrested for abuse. I guess, I guess, a police officer. Um, your husband was arrested for abuse, and your daughter was arrested for abuse against her own parents. So, who are you to to sit here and? While you're a witness on someone else's behalf trying to ruin my life, and now you're going to pull this on me, just really shows the caliber of the type of person that you are and who you're trying to defend in court. She can never miss an opportunity to uh, get some hate in, some hate watching. That's all it is. It's just an opportunity to um, have a reason for a chat because otherwise she had no reason. She couldn't go live and just be like, hey, everybody, how's your weekend? What are you going to do for Easter weekend? It's Good Friday. Let's do a positive. It's Good Friday. And this is it? Nothing positive. In fact, this would be the weekend. This would probably be the time to actually do a positive stream which of course now watch tomorrow, the Toxic Twins, I'm sure. Ooh, look at your hair. Um, that They're gonna have a positive stream about Easter tomorrow or the next day because I just said that. Um, but you would think that it would be something like that instead of having to, because in all essence, it is a bully stream. What they're doing is literally trying to bully somebody so that they have a horrible time on their birthday, which is what they wanna do. Well, the jokes on that. My birthday was two days ago. And exactly. And look at, uh, look at, we've got coins, uh, that little motherfucker in the chat. <laughs> That's what Jen likes to call him. So he's, uh, he's lovingly our little motherfucker. And watch, you're going to see Selena Waltz in. They're always together. They go together like. And like the sad part, again, with them is like, you know, they like. They just can only manifest on hurt and pain and the people in their chat. You know, it's just, it's just crazy how these people want to cast judgment on others. Listen, you made a really good effort to turn your channel into more positivity and get the negativity out. And um, it doesn't matter if you do that or not, they're still going to talk about you. That's the problem. Well, yeah, duh. I mean, I know that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. 
They want to know what time you took a crop at. They want to know. But, they, you, but you know, they keep going on the fact that like we're talking about them. I'm not talking about you, and I'm certainly not like you know, streaming your birthday lives and attempt to like you know make you feel shitty on your your one good day of the year. I'm not doing but that. Can you can you imagine trying to? Because she also celebrated Siwa's birthday as well. Like, yeah. who does that? Who celebrates like, you know, your enemies' birthdays and tell me that that is not an it's, it's those internal problem? Really? Sitting through the back yes, door in the did. backyard trying to peek in because, like, you weren't invited to the party. And now this is your only way in. And all your shitty friends that have also equally not have been invited to the party with you, they want nothing to do with it either. So, I mean, really, like, this is all you got now. But like, we're, we're the crazy ones. And no, 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 no. They're the crazy ones. They look ridiculous. Seeing everybody knows that you guys aren't friends. So the fact right. that she's posting the live saying what it's, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. No, and they're adults. They 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 claim that they're adults. Not only they're are they adults. Everything. Not only, adults. Not only yeah. are they adults. They're grandparents, Jules. Brooke, inclu Brooke included. <laughs> what is she? She's a step grandparent. Uh, I mean, there's still some type of like grandparentism there. My grandfather raised me. He was my step grandfather. My step grandparent. If that should like put any light on that. My grandfather that raised me, who was married to my grandmother, was not my natural grandfather. He was my step grandfather. So. <laughs> Selena, you cracked me up. She's like, "That's my motherfucker." I told you, wherever coins is, Selena's right behind him. They go together like freaking frack. I'm really. Am I really reacting, Jewel? Am I really giving them what they want? Am I going crazy? Cursing yeah, I mean, them? no, not no. I mean, he's he's addressing it. But uh, we're definitely, we're not giving that, we're not giving her what she wants. Only yeah. thing she wants is she wants to have like a super chat fight is what she wants to have because. And well, and what, opinion, because it's my birthday. So she wants to get super chats off my birthday because. Well, she that's what she, that. that is why her and that other person, uh, the well, one no, that is off. Super chats to, to Brooke. If that, if, there you go. <laughs> well, no, no, but no, 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 no. That, the point is, is that it gives her like, you know how they do the little super chat fight? Like, oh, give them to me and that'll really make them mad. So I know darn well, that's what she, why she wanted to go live because she doesn't have any other subjects. So that was her little deal. You know what I mean? Well, see, Wave the hasn't haters been outside while we have fun. Yep. I would just never like even have the balls to like even do like, you know, because I, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Like I hate Brooke. I do. I, it's I, a Friday I, night. It is I a Friday night. And this Brooke, is her jam. I, I hate her. I like, I think she's just an awful person. I, being John Yates and hating Brooke the way that I hate her, would never decide to spend my whole Friday night. Right. When I can be with my children or my husband or some girlfriends eating some fucking two for 20s at Applebee's because that's all you could afford. But that's besides the point. Or like, do your would, own stream and doing something never, fun. Ever decide to spend my Friday night. Hating Brooke and you know what, guys? Let's all watch Brooks live and like make fun of Brooks' birthday. What? No, huh? she's you're right, Lori. No, she doesn't. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't make emojis. She doesn't make doing content. It. She doesn't do anything. We all know why Brooks doing it. I mean, like you know, it's it's written on the wall. Uh, but I mean, it's still like you know, I can't fathom. Spending that much time on somebody. So let's stop doing that right now, too. Brooklyn girl, I didn't hear him play any darn instrument. I still am waiting for the reveal. Did you see oh, something I didn't see? I'm waiting for it still. Yeah, what are you waiting for? I was going to say, I didn't, I'm still waiting for the darn reveal. I was a celery and I was all in the business. <laughs> I'm wearing Wait, are you in a Santa hat? Oh my gosh, it's Christmas over at MT. It's Christmas in Canada, folks. Well, it's still cold here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I did say, did you guys hear me say earlier that that girl from Canada, that the one, my new little rabbit hole, that Aaron person that other people were saying was underage. Anyway, she is not in a facility. She's still there. And I guess the police did break down her door. So she's got a new door. 
and um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't there's that. um this I ran across this girl on IG and she's in Canada, Toronto, and she's a mess. She is uh she's very very pretty, but her life is in disarray but the difference between her and others is like she just kind of acts goofy on the internet and she says a lot of weird stuff but she's not particularly hurting anybody like you know we've had people that go live first thing i thought of i have to say right now is that muzz Oh, I know. I hope Musley's either Muz better give her. Well, Muz could already, she could be one of the people because this woman kind of, she's 26 years old. She's not trans. Mari Mari person. Who is this? I don't know. She's not a nice one. She's, but look, she goes, wow, John Yates is crying and talking about Brooke on his party. Wow. She tagged you. She hashtagged you in the freaking name of hers. Her stream. Get oh my goodness. Oh my oh I just got shot. <laughs> but so because people interfered with this girl so much, they ended up calling oh, wellness man. checks on her all day a couple days ago. To it got to the point that the police came and set off the fire alarms in her building. They ended up having to break down her door. All because of people on the internet, and she doesn't. She she is not well mentally. You can tell that, but she's really not doing anything other than her apartment is a mess. Like we're talking, we're talking GB mess like status. She has fruit flies flying around all over in there, but but she. The good news is she's posting today. In fact, she said she went on Instagram because the police told her to do it. Please tell your your followers that you're okay because they keep harassing us at the police department. Lori, I don't. Praying for you, Sue. I know he's drawing on eyebrows, Sue. Praying for you, Sue. E11. I'm praying for you. And <laughs> oh, they all did the eyebrow thing because of me. They're all and you're drawn eyed out eyebrows, E11. Oh my God, you are so pretty, girl. Hope your husband gets out of that corner he's backed into at his job. Mm. It's all like about the money, money. With the finger toad fraud. <laughs> That's a good one. No name. The finger toad fraud. <laughs> it took me a minute. It's so funny. You can now you got you could see me my whole reaction without the B filter. Why are like all the ugly people there? Like, you know, they wanna like, you know, first off, they wanna like lay claim on other people's children their jobs but then they, they don't then they want to make fun of like their looks and i mean lord oh my goodness it's my party and i'll cry if i want to that's what she would be doing if this happened yeah, like, but nobody cares enough like that to do that look the thing but oh Annie, look at your little avatar isn't that cute so what know. what are we waiting for again for you to i don't know can we do that now then? No, not yet. No, did you just say no? Not yet. Geneva gifted a membership. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I'm confused. Is it a present you're opening or? Yeah, and it's supposed to be something cool, but he is, he's hes making us be all Ooh, They're all in this chat. Like they're, they're all so proud of themselves. Like, you know, we're know. here to like watch. Can you, can you put your phone down? Like really, like you, like where, where is your backbone? Seriously, like you're a bunch of of kids, losers that weren't invited to the party that are now gonna sit and sulk and make fun of it together, looking through the the, the window in the backyard because they weren't invited, but they're so longing to be here. Like you know, people who just don't like each other don't spend a minute of their lives on them. They just don't. And my avatar. What? She was like MTT stealing my hair color. No girl, this is okay. it's called magenta, and it I've had this color for a long time. See that picture's old, <laughs> right? And then oh, don't forget E11, who is also uh, supporting Lita, who's got three felonies and a misdemeanor being thrown at her. Right, E11. He doesn't hit. Right, right, E11. Right, girl. That's your girl. Right, E11. So your husband didn't make right choices, and now your friend Lita didn't. So that's fun on you. Um, 
But good for you, E11. You always make the right decisions. I took a shower and then blow dried my hair like upside down. So I looked like Dong King for a minute. And then I was like, oh God, I can't go on camera like this. But then I was like, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Stick it in point, Phil. Don't give a shit. Make fun of me all you want. I don't care. I'm going to drink my tea. I think I have like more intel on how Lita's attorney dropped her because Lita lied to the attorney about her um the depth in which uh, the felonies lie how could she lie though well, look at dreamsicle in the chat john really needs to worry about his own party live and not worry about what's going on in brooks chat brooks chat I is agree. can can you put your phone brooks down that is entitled john yates birthday live extravaganza but yet you're i know but we're not going over there we're over here hello people Hi. Hey, turn your volume up, Brooklyn. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now you're good. What are we doing? Well, John apparently is well, looking yeah, at Drew's 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 So here's what's crazy okay. to me. Let me your let me just say your mod's very happy to be reading Brooks chat. But while there's 40 people there and 245. Yeah, years. but you know what? You have 245 people sending you super chats trying to get your attention and you're on the phone reading the 40 people that Brooke has. Put the friggin' phone down. We came here to celebrate your birthday and you're obsessed with those people in that chat. No, I'm really not obsessed with it at all. But that's I all you've been doing. Oh my God. Okay, Phil, because this is what happened because I saw this slide. But I want to hear your instrument. Uh -huh. No, no, no. You're not going to come up and, and no, no. Like I knew this was going to happen before I started. I had this plan from last night. So then this live happens. Brooke starts hers at the same time as mine. And mm -hmm. I, I pushed mine back. I said, no, not tonight. And then what does she do? She pushes hers back. And then I push mine back again. And then she pushes hers back again. Uh-huh. But you don't have the same people. That's what I'm saying. There's all these people that are here for you. They don't care about her. We want to hear your instrument. We want to have a good time in your life for your birthday. Okay, well, I'm not having a good time and didn't want to do this. And the end. Bah humbug. Sorry. All right. It is what it is. What? I didn't want to do this. I was happy to not do my birthday live on the 27th. Happy. I know. Didn't want any part of it. I know. Why are people saying, oh, oh, John goes and tries to grift for his birthday, which everybody else in the fucking world does. So I know, not? but people like me and the other people that messaged you and were like, hey, John, are you going live for your birthday? What's going on? What's, yeah, well, I didn't want to. I know. I know. But right now you're just appeasing all the people that like you. You're not, you're supposed to like ignore the, the people over there because. Ignore what? Ignore how the fuck am I going to ignore anything when you I'm getting take your phone and go put it on the couch behind you? Uh, there was no way of me ignoring this. No, I, I was all I was trying to say was that the 250 people in this room are here for you, and the 40 people in that chat wouldn't be here for I, you I, anyway. I doubt that. To be honest, I doubt that the 250 people here because they know that I'm talking about this right now. So. Um, I, I, I mean, I, look at all the, look at all the awesome super chats that people sent you because they love you. And I love them and thank you. And we need them. But like what I'm not, I'm going to like, just not talk about like how I tried to put this off. I didn't want this to, to get elevated. I, I put the live back. She put her live back. I put my live back again. She extended her live again. So what the fuck am I, no matter what I was going to do, this is going to happen. And if I canceled this live, then the next time I go live, th they're going to do it again. Excuse me. There's no way around it. I agree, Drazo. Everything you said is valid. It's Thank you, MTT. And that's the truth. Had I canceled this live after putting it off for two hours... Tomorrow night or Sunday or whenever next, it would the same thing. They would, they, they, so. they would still do it. They would still yeah. do what they're doing. Yeah, now. I, yeah, I get that. He's right about that. But you see all these people. With no, the, with I, 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 I can't concentrate on a fun live when these people are doing this. And all these people looking through the back window, trying to get into the party, which they can't. Like you know, it, it's it's not. 
something I want to be a part of. It's not. And I could have did this live on my birthday. Uh, you know, I'll just be honest. I was full of shit. Had no allergies at all. Not a fucking one. I didn't want to go live on my birthday. I wanted one fucking day to be a, a special day to me, to be for me and me only. After these years and all this shit and what I've been going through on YouTube, the last thing I were, where I wanted to be on fucking YouTube was my, on my birthday. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't blame you because it's. I lied. I, and like, I just did not want to be on YouTube. Because YouTube's taken enough for me at this point, and I wanted a day where I like I didn't have to bother. I hear and, that. And thank I God that I fucking did. Thank God I fucking did because I hear that. Look what happened. So look. So I, I mean, have one day of peace now. One I'm day of peace. I had to schedule live now, right? And look what happened. The second I scheduled my birthday live, this was going to happen. So I knew I was right. On my birthday, on the 27th, saying, John, just don't fucking do it. Cause I, and I knew this was going to happen. So I said, don't just, just don't do it. And then I was going to let it go. And then, you know, people were texting me. Oh, so you skip your birthday. Oh, you, you, you didn't, you know, you going, you're not going live on your birthday saying you're like, fuck you to everybody. And um, I can't believe you didn't go live on your birthday. Like, like, so why do people look into things so much? Like, oh, why oh, can't you oh, have oh, one day? Oh, the texts that I got? Oh, like, why I'm, can't you just have I, one I can't day? Believe you didn't go live on your birthday. It's a fuck you to everybody that supports what you. What about when people just take off on from work on their birthday just <sighs> to do what they want? So I got a lot of fucking texts. Here's what just Jules. happened. She succeeded it in and doing what she wanted to do, John. She she just succeeded. We're an hour in. It's oh, hell an yeah, hour and two did. minutes. Great. And she succeeded. She wanted to get under your skin. Okay, MGT and good. And she did. I know, but we gotta change that around. Good for her, her around. Change and it it's around. not going to happen either way. She's not even live yet. Every time I go live for something, it's gonna oh, it's gonna be overshadowed with this shit. So what's the point? What's the point? And that was my whole point on Monday night when I, I get did it. Did this because I've known for a long time now that this is over. That's the thing you want. It, do you want happiness or do you want this? I've known for a. And see what, me and you talked about this. The night I got off, I got off on your panel that Monday night, and we talked about this at length. And I said, you know what? I'm done. And I meant it. Yeah, so, you, you've been in this for a long time, feeling this way. A long time. Yeah. A long time. Because, you know. And I don't know how it hasn't felt. You haven't been there sooner. Because I couldn't do all this. It's a lot. That's why and I, like I meant it. Like when I was on CWIS panel and like I I unloaded everything I wanted to say because oh you can't say this about Angela, you can't say this about Court, you can't say this about and like I like it's just, but don't know, they say I, that I, you don't you don't go crazy anymore? You don't, you're just enough. saying what you feel. I, I had enough. Um it's because it's gotten overwhelming. Yeah. Too overwhelming much. is not even the word. And the way it affects life and the way it affects every aspect, it's too much. I couldn't do it. What they don't get is they're just like one person, but it's all of them attacking at them. the same time. And it's a lot for one person to deal with, to handle. And why and they someone want to inflict that on somebody like, else is beyond me. They all think like it's like, you know, I hate them all as equally as they hate me. For that to be like a scenario, I would have to go live from two to three. Fuck you, Cooch. Then from three to four, fuck you, Eleven. Then from four to five, fuck you, Ann. Then from five to six, fuck you. You just don't care. It, it like it would take every second of every day for me to go live and express the hate that I have for all these people that shoot it at me twenty four fucking seven, which is something nobody will ever fucking understand. You won't. Until it's happened to you. And I hope it never does. But that's how that goes. And they all think that I'm equally obsessed with them. Oh, John Yates hates me the most. I'm going to be the person. Oh, no, John Yates hates me the most. I, I'm going to be like the, the spokesman on John Yates. 
Oh no, John Yates hates me the most. I've been coming at him for seven years and not eight. Like, you know, and like I said on that live I did, which you can still watch on friggin' um, Addy's channel. Uh, yeah, like, why am I here? Why am I gonna go live and do recaps with 35 people watching? It's a waste of everyone's fucking time. And I'm sorry if I have more pride in myself than these other assholes who have no talent. These people have talent. They don't. They, they start their YouTube channels to make fun of other people because that's all the skills that they have is making fun of other people. And then they get paid for it. I mean, like, you know, and this in this whole woke universe of like anti-bullying and this, that, and the other. Why is no one shining a spotlight on this? I had to take my own life fucking twice. And then Brooke Graham, a character witness for Maria, the defendant who set who who convinced me to take my own life, is now streaming my birthday live on her channel because they're not bullies. Let that sink in for a hot fucking minute. Because I need one. Nice spider. Did that work? How? Oops. <laughs> Is that good? I just, hate, like, I just hate giving people what they want. That's what makes me so upset. I know. It gets, it gets, it's really, yeah. it's really hard to, yeah. it's really hard to describe it until it hits you. I know. When it starts I hitting you, I triggered you, it when I came up. <laughs> triggered like I what? Live through it, Jules. Like, I know you know. Yeah, it sucks. And that's why it's like, that's why everybody's like, Jules, come save it. I'm like, he, you know, he needs to, he needs, you know, if he feels he needs to vent, he needs to vent. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's hard to process and it's really easy sometimes for other people to say it. And, um, cause there's certain times that I can't let it go. You know what I mean? There's certain stuff that pisses me off so much and I, I can't. I, I, guess I always feel like, I always feel like there's so many people, there's so many more people right here, right now that just adore him and like want to see him in a, in a good place. And I don't want to give those 40 people the credit that they're looking for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm sure that they're happy over there now that I just played that and I'm a spider. It's probably taking over for a little bit over there. <laughs> One of the people over there do not like spiders. And so this, it was a good way to sidetrack it a little bit, mm -hmm. in my opinion. It, and it's, it's really, really sad, but like, they're never going to stop. No. So, to some degree, the only way they'll ever stop is if they're made to stop. So then he has to. Because like this is, this is fun for them. Yeah. And the only way is if you can completely exit out. And it's really hard when it's really hard when you see it. And sometimes it's not even on purpose. You know, I'll be all of a sudden, I'll be on YouTube and even though I'll say don't suggest channel and stuff like that, all of a sudden, probably because it's got my name in it or something, boom. I'm like, oh, well, isn't that nice? Now I know it exists. Yeah. Because you don't know it's there, you don't. But unfortunately, John is all in their algorithm. So like, no matter what, no matter if somebody sent it to him or not, he would have found out that they were doing it. And I, listen, I think it's extremely frustrating to constantly be like the person that everybody's talking about. It's well, that you can't make a move without anybody else can have a birthday, but he goes to have a birthday and then you're going to turn a birthday party into something. Cause we would have much rather been corny up here and silly and just been doing dumb shit. But I knew it. I, when I saw that she had a, a um, scheduled. That's why I went when I went live earlier. I said, I just want to point out to everybody. This is a very, very sad attempt on her part. She's doing this for this reason and this reason only. And that's pathetic. But why, um, like, I don't really know how this all works. But like, why would someone 
stream someone else's birthday when you don't like it's, each other. It's not that well, she should stream his birthday. It's the point is just to get under his skin to do exactly. She achieved what she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then that's that. why they sent the person in here to say that, oh, Jules, I, John, I don't have any money to send to you because I just sent it to Jules. No, you didn't. That per I never even seen that Donna person. They do that on purpose. And it's like, so no matter what we would have done, even if John wasn't looking at it, to be honest with you, they would have kept sending people in to do that, to try to derail it. And it sucks because that, and that is, it is crazy to think that these are adult people and this is what their jam is. Like, I feel like this is not like in the real world, in person, you don't act that way. You only get and away that's with it. why they do it here because they can get away with it. There's no accountability. Mm -hmm. There's no, they're, they're mm -hmm. behind the wall. They're that's here. why I always say to him, like, I'll go on to do the shows and stuff, but I don't want to get involved in all that stuff. I, I can't. There's so much going on in life, like, so much sadness. Like, I'm, you know, I live in New York, right? And we had a, um, a fallen cop this week. And he's from one town over from where I'm from. And the whole, everywhere, it's just been, like, so sad. And, like, there's so much going on in this world. Like, why waste your time with this stuff? Because it's too easy to. Like, John's the center of it. They all evolved from him. They could, so, say, they, you know, they could say, like, they don't care about him and he's not the center of it. But then when you make but they a do lie... Care. When you make a oh, life, they all life. want to lick his taint. Hey, look at you! <laughs> There's two oh, of you. I know what he's doing. They want his taint. What are you doing? Just waiting. Oh he's no! Basically announcing something. Please. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. No, no, no. I don't. I, no. Well, it's too late. He showed it the second he walked out the door. Did he? Yeah. Your your uh, volumes you're muted. I was wondering if he was gonna show that. What? Why did I don't understand why? It's cold out there. Who? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Did you see it? Because it's another way that these people have succeeded, right? Well, they no, no, well, no, no, sell no. the place. No, that has nothing to do. That's no. that's about real estate. That has nothing to do with them. Yeah, that's got nothing to do with that. Oh, that is, that's a total separate. Is that that's not at all about them? That's going on all over that area. Well, hopefully it's not because they bothered the landlord so many times. Oh no, 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 no! It and did. Got it sick of it and decided to sell all the little houses. They're trying to buy up everything over there. It's for sale, Siwa. Yeah, so I woke up a little, um, and like, which is funny because, like, you know, to, to, like, you know, Brooke thinks she's getting to me by doing this, but whatever. It's you're really not because I have other fish to fry at the moment. Um, yeah, that's what I just tried to show you. Uh, that's my fucking, I will, I got my mail this morning and that was on my fucking. And thank kudos to New Jersey to really just slapping it right on your house. <laughs> Great. I, <laughs> Wonderful. Saw that, I never saw that. Like right on your house. Yeah, like, I never saw long. that. In Long Island, it, you would never see that. So, uh, <laughs> so found out the hard way today that uh, my landlord is selling the whole lot that we live on um, and it will be sold soon because they have been. Drazo, check your DM. <laughs> They've been just rezoning Seaside and making it like, you know, millionaires row and they're building like all these, you know, um, they're building all these four story, like this is Seaside Realty. So they're building all these, oh, you can't see it. They're building all these, like, these old, these four story mega townhouses for a million apiece. And um, my landlord owns this house, the house next to me, the big house there, and then the apartment building next to me. So he owns like half the block. And yeah, uh, Cody's like, 
go outside, but promise me you're not going to lose your shit. And I said, oh, God. I, I thought there was, like, a uh, just a, a nasty thing, like, you know, maybe a, a split tire or uh, whatever. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's how I found out. I've been living here for four years, and um, that's fun. And this is going to be quick because seasons are right about to start, and they put these – they put these um, these houses together in like three weeks. They're built. It's like fucking like move that bus type of speed. Um, <laughs> extreme makeover, seaside edition. Okay, so. It's everywhere there now. Everywhere. It's. I mean, I I could walk around the block and show you like all the. They're they're totally re rebuilding the town, and. Um, so that's fun. It was just a matter of time because John's like John's house is on a lot and it's just I was wondering for a while like I'm sure I was surprised they weren't going to build sooner. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. So uh yay. Um no, we weren't told. Yeah, I was told because I... Happy I, birthday I, to you. Yeah. yeah right? Exactly. <laughs> that was the first time I Jewel. to that look at the mail. And, um, yeah, sign was there on our house. Like, can't miss it. <laughs> it's, it's right there. Well, you know what? The goods, the upside of this is, is it gives you a chance when you finally do find another place. Don't ever wear sunglasses outside. Exactly. I was just going to say that. Don't. Ever again. Is, and I mean, so, okay, I know you're probably going to want to smack me, especially since I'm a spider right now. But um, here's the thing is usually when people move, it's usually not under the best you know, like, I can't tell you that there's a time when I just said, oh, I'm just going to move and go to a different place because I'm done here. It's usually a reason. Like, I have to move for this reason or that, you know, because whatever. So anyway, my point is, is, you know, you're not happy there. And so this is going to kind of, I mean, make it go faster for you. Yeah, but I'd hope that I had like more like. I know, but now it's stress. In my account. Like, you know, know. It's, it's like, it's. It's, just, it's not the right time for that. I was going into this live knowing that that just happened on yep. my door. And then with this crazy psychopath nurse uh, doing this live. And I'm like, oh, hey, everything's great. Like, la, la, la. Who gave me a kiss? <laughs> I don't want any kisses. Well, that's the thing, MW. Like, you know, you guys know, moving is a huge expense. Like, they're comfortable there. Oh, it's not there. fun. They're comfortable there. It's super quiet there. Yes, everybody knows his address. Yes, he's got issues there because it's like the whole winter or whatever. Yeah, no, it's a blessing in disguise. Absolutely. But yeah. uh, but it's just hard. Uh, get, like, where am I going to get all this money? That's the problem. Don't forget, he spent a lot on uh, but like, you know, we're grifting. And don't forget the 20 grand I had to spend on this woman and her and her uh, her right witnesses who are going live against me on my birthday. But it's still not over. So I don't know. No, right. so that's that, what he was that, going that, into this with guys. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. It's pretty hard to stay positive under those circumstances. So everything's so great. I'm so happy. Yeah. Yay. So it was it was going to be a stretch to try to make this into happy fun time. I knew it. Because some people just can't ever just stop. Adding on to the stress of like, how long do we have? And where are we going to go? And how much do I have to pay for security? And how much is rent? <laughs> like it's so much to now hit the brain, you know? And honestly, you really can't, you have to like, okay, so I, cause my first thought is, is like, Hey, if anybody has any thoughts or, you know, of any place, but then I'm like, no, because you can't really, you, the only people that no, could but, ever suggest anything yeah. would be your, your nearest and like, yeah. you know, because you can't ever, so it's almost like you really have to do this by yourself. And that just, it just sucks. 
it sucks that this is the way that they are. I'm like, he didn't have any heads up. So mm -mm, no, that sucks. That's why I he sent it to me. And I'm like, it did, uh, wh what did I say? I'm like, did, is that, did your landlord say anything? And he's just like, no, that's same, it. That was same, what. Same response. And I, and I literally said, well, have you been there two years? He's like, no, four, four years of paying rent and like doing what you have to do. Keeping the place nice. Oh, Drazo's here. Sucks. Uh, I look fugly right now. <laughs> but no, because I, all I know <clears throat> is like, okay, when I had when I moved back from Wisconsin to here, it sucked. I did not want to have to do it because it's like you got to get the moving truck, you got to do this, you got to do that, and it sucks. But then once it's over, I was extremely happy. Okay, it's over. I, I'm here. But, but yeah, it's just a matter of getting there and you really can't ask, you can't share anything. It just, it no. really sucks at us. <clears throat> so happy birthday, brother. Thanks. <laughs> great birthday. I mean, yeah, hey, I would listen, love... it is a great birthday. You know why? Because you woke up on your birthday. That's true. You're still breathing. To see a moving sign. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing that stinks. It's hard to see past that. Happy birthday. You're moving. You know what? You've wanted to move for a long time. You've talked about it yeah, for a while. I have. So now you got to push. Instead of procrastinating, a now you have no damn choice. The car to move into. Yes, I will push that shopping cart right off this property. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's going to be that dress. Hey, 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 hey. Heather does have that tent still. I mean, she's not using it anymore. Wow. Maybe she can send it to you. Yeah, bro. If I'm you need a tent, it. I got a four-man tent. Yeah, maybe you you and the cats can get a setup like Heather and Xavier in a nice four-star four like Friday. hotel. Like, I love nothing more than to, like, for him to come to Long Island, but it's a fortune here. I can't even afford oh, to live here it. half the time. You know how much my mortgage is? Oh, I, I have one, so I know. So you know. And the taxes. Forget it. I really thought I hit that I hit that mega million, but I guess yeah. not, because I'm still here. Yeah. Where'd he go? He's in, he you know what? He's just in a bit. Um, depressed. He's depressed. I opened them already, Dobby, but they, these, are, these are just beautiful candles. And hopefully it will keep us warm. All right. On a serious, on a serious <laughs> note, before I go to bed, because I got work in the morning. So I, John, I want to say something to you. Ten years ago, you and I, we hated each other. Ten years ago, we didn't even know each other. You well, know? we knew of each other. But what were we? 37. All right. So less than 10 years. I am. Yeah. I just turned forty-five. Be careful with the, with the ages. With yeah. the numbers, draw right. I'll be forty-five in a couple of months. Relax. But seriously, okay, we had a lot of bad blood, and look where we are now. That's number one. Number two, okay. During the time I was blocked from your channel, I was still watching you. Do you want to know why? Because you're fucking entertaining. True story. And I'm not done, so don't cut me off yet, okay? During that time watching you, everybody that's in your chat and still in your chat still support you, whether bad, good, indifferent, or anything else, okay? They supported you no matter what. Yep. Okay? Fuck Brooke. Brooke's a dumb dumb. Well, I, I really, I, I'm not, I, I could care less about her, honestly. I was just saying this is a way, like, you know, I don't, you, you're giving too much credence to Brooke, actually. You know, I don't want her thinking she's walking away from this with, you know, no, I, this is really going to do it. She's not that yeah. special. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's not she special at all. In uh, junior high, not high school, junior yeah, high. It's, it's really not. <laughs> Um, that big of a deal. I would expect that from her. So, I mean, she exceeded my expectations is what she did. So, yeah. You know, but I want you to look at the bigger picture that you still have people who follow you. You still have people who want to be here for you. People who want to be here and celebrate your life, your birthday. 
I think it was just a lot. It's just a lot today. Oh, I know. And, you know, I don't think he wants to hear more that thing. Sometimes you just need a life change, you know? And sometimes yep. you just you know what you have to do, but it's scary to do it. And you don't know if you're going to be able to. It's a lot. It's a lot in his head. I agree. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I figure fish and fry and book ram. Yeah. <laughs> Jules, I can't. <laughs> I just wanted to see if Lindsay was like. <laughs> Lindsay, where are you, Lindsay? I'm a spider and I want to sit beside you. So, Jules, oh, I'm is, all hurt doing that. Is, that. is that spider? Is that acrid? What? I think I'm a black widow or something. Look at my. Is I'm a, a black, is it a black widow? widow? Yeah, it is. Okay. Look at my tummy. I think that's what I am. I'm black and red. With a tinge of purple. I kind of like that. It must be a purple light or something. Yeah, it could be. Oh, my web. Lindsay, this is what is living in the walls with black cats. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, did you know? Okay, John, this is something completely funny. So do you know there's somebody in the community? I won't even mention any names. Lindsay! And do you know that she told a story that she has a cat living in her wall. She calls it black cat. And it comes in and out and impregnates cats and lives in the wall. It has kittens in the wall. They all think this is normal. What? It lives in the wall. You're representing all Is that not the weirdest thing? And they talk about us. Yeah, she's got black cat. And it goes in and everybody's heard the story. Sophie even covered it the one time. I'm like, what the what? Very interesting. Yeah, it, 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 black cat just keeps getting cats, knocking cats up left and right, and comes walking in and out. Yeah, it just lives in the wall. Can you imagine? It's like people. Remember the movie People Under the Stairs? It's almost like the cat. The cat. In the wall <laughs> Look at his face. Under the stairs. <laughs> it's a very very crazy thing. See what well, you heard about that too, right? No, a black cat in the wall, and it comes in and out. It comes in and out and gets impregnates the cats. And look at, see, Susie says, free the wall cat. She's heard about the wall cat. It's a thing. I was like, what the fuck? It's a thing. And all those kittens. And so it, it, I don't even understand. Like, I think the cats need light. I don't even know. But yeah, she has a cat. She calls it black cat, and it lives in the wall. She's talked about it on uh, several channels. Super interesting. But John, you're crazy. <laughs> John doesn't have I mean, anything I living in his walls. Some of the shit that I hear in this community just cracks me the fuck up. And that's one of them, man. Have, and she just tells the story. Yeah, the cat goes in and out and he gets this one pregnant. And that was Black Cat's first litter. That's the first cat that he knocked up. And yeah, because Black Cat is a boy. Slinging his penis around inside the walls. I don't oh know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn's like, that's the penis word. What? Thank you. If Lindsay was my owner, I'd hide in the wall, too. But see, here's the thing. See what? I don't think it's her cat. I think she moved it. From what I gather, she moved into this place, and there's a cat in the wall. And she's just like, hey, cat in the wall, you want to come impregnate my cat? Okay. And so it's almost like her cat has a boyfriend that lives in the wall. I don't know. It's a very weird thing. I wish Sophie was still awake because she would probably be able to fill us in better. But yeah, it's craziness. It's craziness. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is she told this story on, you know, the one that likes to uh, pretend she's your cat. Um, she said it. She told the story, I believe, on her channel one night because, of course, that's a very, very popping channel. But yeah, she told the story about Black Cat in the Wall. Somebody needs to write a song about that. We're sweaty, our songstress. <laughs> no, I'm talking. I'm just listening. Um, yeah, because we're talking about cats in the wall. It's just the funniest thing ever. And I really wish Sophie was awake because she knows more details than I do. It's just craziness. So whatever you do when you move, make sure there are no black cats living in your walls. 
Your cats will not allow it. She said the landlord's cat go through the wall too. Oh, look at that. So I guess that's why she lets them live in the walls. I don't know. <laughs> cats should not be living in walls. No. And they really shouldn't be living outside either. If they're born outside and they really want to be there, you, I mean, you got to just fix them and let them stay. But if you can adopt them and bring them in, bring them in. Please don't let them live in the walls. Public service announcement. You a brew can't with the cats in the walls. You wouldn't think you'd have to tell anybody that, but whatever. I guess with Lindsay, you do. It's all that kratom she's hopped up on. So... In one of those videos that we found, she literally like took a spoonful of it, I guess, and she like her teeth were green, I guess, because she was eating it. I didn't know that's I don't know much about Kratom, but I guess that's a she it's like a powder and something like that. I don't know. I never did get to that part. John Reed. I know, uh, Anna, that's what I'm read. saying. Look at yeah, it's like smelly cat, smelly cat, <laughs> wally cat, wally cat. <laughs> Look at John's like, I don't even know where to go with a cat in the fucking wall. Nope. I mean, where do you go from there? Like, you, you just don't. I mean, like, you know, I, you, there's no way to one up that. Um, I don't know. Are we doing everything? You know, Right. Wow. Look, Roxanne said, triggering, stop, please. Yeah, right. We learned from Pamela, the maker of the Pam Slam. I still love that. That was so funny. No, I was just late. I over. From where? From a happy moment. What are you looking at? I, I just don't understand how people can expect you to be happy. Like when, like, you know, you have these lives against you. It's a birthday live. I get like, you know, doing the streams against you, like when I was like, you know, mad and telling this one to go there and the other one to go somewhere else. And I get that, but like just to like stream a birthday live when people are trying to feel happy and like ugh. It's just icky. And people in the chat just are they're just all icky with them and kind of how hard it is trying to find the right job. Horrible humans. Name. Like God. That's like, you know, like, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, like, it's me, Jennifer Lawrence, Candace Everdeen, outside his o Oscar after party, which I wasn't invited to, but I'm going to, like, sh I'm going to film it, and, like, you know, and we're all going to laugh at them because we weren't invited, and, like, I, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's a puppy. <laughs> MTT got her puppy. He's bad. Bad to the bone. Are you a bad boy? Mm, I got a bad girl laying next to me right now. But she's she's quiet. Right, Stella Rose? Oh, really just, I mean, he's birthday live I've ever done. Like I've done birthday lives. I know. This live isn't very uh no, it's it sucks. <laughs> You know, we've had cast come up and comedians and what do you want? What do you want? You want your tummy rub? You want your tummy nope. rubbed. Oh, oh. That's what she wants. She wants her tummy rubbed. Well, let's make someone happy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want your tummy rubbed too, John? Oh, what are you doing? Get out of there. Well, I got work in the morning. I got to be up at five. I'm working overtime. Yuck. Why are you trying to, what are you trying to do over here? You nut job. So I'm going to hop down. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Yeah, thanks. Cheer up. We got the whole world as an oyster. Sure. Yeah. Got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> All right, brother. I love you, man. Dobby, it's not even John don't move. 
there's just for sale. <laughs> right. You haven't told him anything yet. That's the worst part about it. Wonderful communication with that landlord. I don't understand why there couldn't have just been like a text message or a heads up, but I don't know. Like our, sh we rent our house. Like it's all, the whole thing is for sale. All of it. I mean, something like that. I mean, a sale like that does take months. It's not like it takes a week, but still, it's a lot to worry about. The resort town right before a season starts. I'm telling you. How fast do they sell things and build there? They could put a four-story townhouse up in two weeks. Wow. I'm used to Long Island where you need 8,000 permits and it takes six months to put a fence up. Two weeks. Four stories. That's insane. So quiet. Are you still looking at that boring chat over there? No. That's good. So I think I'm going to go live next week on my channel. I think you should. And everybody should follow you. Make sure you drop your link okay. in the chat. Hey, are you going to color? Can you color an eyeball? <laughs> Not coloring. I'm going to be doing nails. Well, I need to bedazzle this bee. I really do want to bedazzle this bee now. I am going to be the asshole that I am, and I'm going to bedazzle this bee. I'm going to get two of them, one for Cody, one for John. I'm going to make them look even better. I still have them. Said other bedazzler. See, look at that. <clears throat> I still have all the coloring books. I threw out all the the pages I colored, though. Those are gone, so. That's what I'm saying, Boy Brew. That's what's really, that is very upsetting. And that's because, John, it wasn't that long ago that you said you talked to your landlord. We talk all the time. I pay him rent every month. It's not like I go months without talking to him. I have to pay No, him. and that, this, that is not very, that's not even close to professional. I mean, so no matter what, you're going to have to get noticed. So, I mean, it's not going to like you're going to have to move out tomorrow. Sure. But for four years, we'd have the kindness of, hey, by the way. Exactly. Uh, and I was like, you know, my property's up on the market. You might want to look for something else. Hey, oh, thank you. Okay, thanks for the heads up. No. Well, yeah, and that's all he had to do is say, hey, you know, I, I decided that I'm going to sell the property over there. You know, it's going to go up on so-and-so. So I don't know. You guys should just kind of keep your eyes open. Something. I forgot what you said. Is he? Does he have his hotel for sale too? No, I, I don't know. All I know is that this whole block that he owns is all up. He'd be crazy to sell the hotel. That's a... Doesn't matter how crappy it is. It's Jules, why are you so jealous of how Six Gonna Sweetie is? Wait, what? what do you mean? What is, is she over there saying I'm jealous of her? Six gun, sweetie. I assure no. you, I'm not jealous of you in those heart shaped glasses. Who the, fuck is so I'm so sweetie? Who the fuck are these people? Do you know, know how they say that Kendra is like Sally, Jesse, Raphael? Well, I was thinking Ricky Lake on that one. <sighs> I do. I saw Ricky Lake in her, and I'm not just trying to be like, she totally reminded me of Ricky Lake. Have you talked to the landlord since you've seen the sign? I don't think. Have you, John? Did you try calling him? I did. No answer. Well, Lovely. the longer he takes, the the longer you have for your notice. He has to give you notice. Well, I think he's probably going to ride it out until it sells and then thus let the new owner, you know, deal with give whatever. You know. And that's not okay. That's true, too. That could be. It, it depends. The seller could say, like, I. It's oh, look at In New Jersey, the required or, notice to vacate needs to give them not fewer than 60 days to leave property. The time period for the notice must begin after you've been made the initial property deal. Well, that's good to know. 60 days, two months, there you two go. months is better than a month. I want to say it's only like 45 days here or so. 
So that's good. So she wants to go on panel more. You go, girl. Click. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. Yeah, the six gun sweetie person. She's weird and I don't like her. Is so it Rita? That. Oh, no name. Yes, I'll be doing that and Holly Gel too. I haven't the tried Motel is for sale. Wait, or is that a question or is that a statement, Rita? Well, there's no question mark. So. I don't know. Shoot, Rita wants to buy the. Oh, Rita, do it, and then we'll all come. We can stay there. We'll come visit. I know. Me and my hubby were literally talking about taking a trip. Just last Look night. Look Brooklyn. Brooklyn. She wants you to go in on the hotel with her. Six Gun is boyfriends or best friends with. Spider, she admitted she likes to do things behind the scenes and really wants to go at Siwa with Spider. Yeah, I know, Ten Head. I thought about it after the fact because I always liked Ricky Lake. Me too. Who could we make her be? I cannot believe these people have been waiting an hour and a half in Brooke's chat to talk about how awful I am at my birthday stream. She, she probably right. was never going live. She just did it to piss you off. I mean, it's already been recorded for court. So, I mean, it's whether she does or doesn't at this point, it's too late for her. She already decided to do that. So, I don't know. It's not a good look on them whatsoever. It's not a good look for these people. I just don't understand after all of these years. Well, the fact that, like, you know, I, she was, I was going to go live at 7. Then she had 7.30. I changed mine to 8. She changed, she changed hers to 8. Then she changed, she changed hers to 8.30. So... I mean, we have an hour and a half now of her, and now it's now it's almost ten. So three hours of her going to do this live. So I mean, like we know the, why she did it. Um, you know, it's, it's very clear at this point. Otherwise, she wouldn't have set up at seven o'clock originally when I was going live at it's seven. It's her juvenile behavior. She will never change. She is. She was stunted. And I really don't get the people in the chat like who just want to watch watch Brooke watch me. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're all gonna watch my birthday party and like what make fun of us because you're better than us. What what what? Like your grandparents. Like get the fuck out of here. Like that's your that's your plan on a big Friday night instead of spending time with your family. You're gonna watch Brooke uh, stream my birthday live because you want to be here and They're you desperate. can't. Like what the fuck? And we're the crazy one. Yeah. When we, I can go live and talk about shows, whatever. And but they, got, the only time they go live is when they just fucking spit and fucking hate. And it'll play out for a long. Who fucking gives a fuck at this point anymore? It doesn't take much for anybody to go live on YouTube and make fucking money. Whoa, that's Barbie's looking messed up. All you need is yep. a, a vendetta. Against one person, and then like you that know, was after a night of breaking windows it's on fucking Reddit's, like you know, and fuck these people because honestly, like did you hear some Reddit? I hate these people. I wish it would stop, but like it's the same people talking about the same people who they wish it would stop. Like this Muzz person, like who gives a fuck about Muzz? But like you nobody, know, like, she's a fucking nobody, fat Canadian with horrible fucking hair, <laughs> who fucking lives in the middle of nowhere. And you will up it her the time of fucking day and 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 go and have five Reddit subs talking about how bad she is because but she's not she's a nobody with, with nothing. So what so you're all making her a bigger deal than what she is because it, now you have no one to talk about. So I guess Muzz is the big deal now because now, like you know, she's the person because you know you're all still on Reddit, make, taking notes and making graphs and shit. But then you and, and uh, you are giving Buzz, this exposure that she wants, and you're giving it to her because you're so enthralled, and you're feeding off her. She's feeding off you, and you're making her bigger than what she fucking is. And it's yeah. It's the thing is, is they're pretty much exposing Muzz because Muzz has been doing oh, a lot of behind Muzz. the scenes. Muzz she is, a, is a fat loser from fucking Ontario. But she, John, you don't, John, you don't understand. She has done a lot of stuff behind oh, the scenes. Like tools, I don't understand. What John, I, you don't understand. You don't know it all. I'm Muzz. Muzz has done a lot of stuff, and that's what people are finally exposing her because she's pretending she's doing nothing, and she she's been behind but dirt on me. At the end of the day, she's somebody with like with a thousand 
husband. But no matter what, John, she's still doing, she's doing a lot of damage, even with her only a thousand subs. She did a lot of damage with 200 subs. And that's why people are trying to show that she is a dangerous person. And then when she's they- She's dangerous with a hundred subs and then because she does everything behind the scenes. That's how it works. Then yeah, then but she's worse than people. most. And look, all these dangerous people are still on fucking YouTube, aren't they? All of them. They're all still there. No one's left. No they, one. They won't leave. This is their entertainment. It's all they have in their I'm lives. Saying, like everyone's doing all these, you know, exposés and whatever, but yet they're all still here. Nothing's changed. It's giving more people more stuff to talk about, which is my point. That's it. Well, I choose to ignore them because I just don't care anymore. I started liking Housewives. So now I fill my time with Housewives. I'm on season 13, by the way, now of Atlanta. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jeez. Good thing you're fine. Videos are fun, fun, fun. That is a crazy story. She's now lying to new people so they fight for her. Um, as far as Muzz goes, when she came into our community, I ignored her from the day one and uh, I continued to ignore her and uh, I will still continue to ignore her. I never had anything to do with her. her. I turned I her channel had... on once and listened to five minutes of her live and I was like, she's a lunatic. She is got I blocked crazy. her. I tried to avoid her. And then she is the one that requested all the FOIAs on me. She is the one that started all of the bullshit. And then I wasn't even talking to her. I barely knew really she existed. Is she really saying I'm having a meltdown? Oh, my God. I just went outside and I'm best friends with the... Shut up. Wow. wow, Brooke. Like, Brooke, you are just so fucking sad as a human being, a mother, a wife, a step parent. You have failed across all boards. Really, Brooke, you have. Because at the end of the day, this is where she is. They can pretend to put themselves on a pedestal all over the place, but look at where they are. It's just sad. And now Brooke's in her element because now she's all like, all this shit in my chat. And look, look, more Lormery giving her super chats. Let's get them. Oh, my God. Hurry up, everybody. Run over there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is very ridiculous. It's, it's like, these are grandparents just fucking doing their best to just shit down people's throats. And she's in her, I'm listening to her right now, and she's in her element. Well, the thing is, is Siwa hasn't been going live to play my TikTok videos. Make right? it Siwa was last time Siwa was live like a week it's ago. Fine, man. That's why they're, they, you're the other person that they decide to cover and bother and make fun of and do whatever. I don't know. I, they, you know my opinion. I've told you a million times. They, they, none of these people are going to stop. It's an individual decision. When I decided things were too much for me, I took a step back. Other people maybe don't feel like they're doing too, too much. You know, I felt I was doing too much. So I decided, you know, I need to get the hell out of this bullshit. And, um, I'm better for it now. I don't get involved in people's drama like I did before. And uh, a lot of people need to follow suit because this crap is too negative. It The negativity just ends up ruling, ruling your life. You wake up every day and you check online to see the bullshit that's written. It's, it's just not a fun time. Well, it's true. And you get it tenfold. Like, I couldn't even imagine. I got it for one week. 
And I was like, I'm out of here. I can't do this shit. Like, I got it for longer than a week, but one week was bad. And that was all because I had you on my channel. And that was it. That was enough. People just don't care on here. And, you know, whether they like it or not, they all evolved from your channel. This is where they were born. This is where they all came from. And this is where they it sounds to me like they they long to be part of it again because they're still talking about you. If they didn't want to be anything, have any part of you and think you're this god awful person, they would eject themselves from the situation. But instead, they are talking about you day in and day out. You know, it's just it's just, they they look ridiculous. It's laughable. It is they are the laughing stock of the community because it's too toxic and it's laughable at this point. They're just spewing the same shit. They've been saying the same stuff for fucking two years, four years, actually. It, it's just, it's repeat, repeat, repeat. And her minions in her chat obviously are mentally ill because if they're going to follow that reg rhetoric of bullying and making fun of somebody's weight and somebody's face and somebody's hair and somebody's eyes and this, that, and everything and the shoes that they wear. Well, that's messed up. And, you know, I feel sorry for all of those people. I myself am not going to live my life that way. I, I used to make fun of people the whole time on this damn in this community, but I stopped. I tried to be a better person. We're gonna say this is not even her idea. Meanwhile, it's it's her fucking. Uh, but at least she's got a little bit of steps still left in her. It's too loud. Okay? Yeah, I'm sorry, MCC. She's making fun of you. She's saying she got you, she have a little bit of snap in you because you're an old gal. I'm old. Yeah, that's what Brooke says. You're old. How old does she think I am? I don't know. <laughs> I don't care I don't what know. she says about me. I don't know. I really don't. Make fun of me all you want. I don't care. I'm not going to listen to it. So there it goes like in one. But it's funny how she's making all these super chats off my birthday. Let it's her. funny how people, and look, she's, she's, she's streaming my, my TikTok again. Let her. And she's making a ton of money off of my birthday. I, uh, I don't really care what she has to say. Her words do not affect my life. It used to affect me. I used to let it all bother me. No, when somebody talked sure about it. What? What? No, I you don't. know what they're going to happen? They're going to drop Brooke and Heidi as witnesses. That's what they're going to do. I don't know, Susie. I think I might be older than her. I'm not sure. I am unsure. I'm older than John. Wow. I'm old. I don't think I look old, but if you do, that's good for you. I think you look way older than I do. But it's me. You've been in the sun way more. I avoid the sun my entire life. I have baby skin till I'm like 80. Well, I'm going to be getting off soon because uh, I ordered some pizza. Well, that's how you look without extensions, without fillers in your face. I, uh, did, I don't wear makeup often at all. You, and uh, I don't really care. Ozempic. What's that? Did you do Ozempic? Me? Yeah, I'm just saying that's what it takes to look like this uh, Barbie doll of here. E11, e e Miss Susie Q with her bad eyebrows, with her fucking, with her, with, with a Brooks, E11 saying I'm crying on my live right now. How does this work with them? Like I, E11, I would cry if I looked like you. I would. With, with your, with your, your, your stringy hair, your Brillo hair that comes like that starts here, and you gotta pull it back to make it look like you don't have Brillo hair. With those bad Sharpie, bald cat, Georgie, Sharpie things that you have to put on your eyebrows. 
Yeah, Eleven, I'd feel so. I'd, I'd feel bad for you too. I would. Not, I, I, and Eleven, I'm really crying for you and 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 how you look, Eleven. That's how. That's really the tears that I'm crying because, like, I feel like if if you maybe just looked a little better, you wouldn't be so evil in your soul. You know, we'll, Brooke can get Wagovi and and try to lose weight through that, but she's going to be the same wretched person she's always going to be in her life. Like, you know, really going out to someone on their birthday and and making money off it and having all these people, like it just shows what they're what they are. A bunch of people who want to be at this party <laughs> can't get there. That's what it is. It's prayers. It's, it is. Just, I, I don't care. Remember that time I jumped onto Anna Maria's live a long, long time story. I should have said their names. Anyways, I jumped on their live and I, I don't even remember what the subject was about, but they were talking about me and I went on and I was like, I don't care. I don't care. And I was just laughing. I was like, I don't care. And I really didn't care. And I thought it was the funniest thing ever that their panties were all in a bunch. Oh, look, look I, at this person, Terezine Guzler. John Yates needs to direct his anger. Am I angry? Have I been angry? Have I? Have well, a little been bit angry? earlier. You, a little bit earlier. You was little... anger where it belongs. And Jules ruined his birthday. Jules, that's on you. According to this person, you it's all your fault. Birthday. Yep, I went and I put that for sale sign up there in the middle of the night, and then I flew well, back. All... E eleven looks like like she she was like the uh, the the witness of a bukkake party like you know they all spooged on her I don't really and like she was thinking she was gonna be like the, the like you know the it girl meanwhile you were the spooge girl just like they're all spooging on your face now I think e eleven I think bukkake party on her face is what I think honestly because she's just another useless person who wants to like serve them and they don't care about her they just come on her face that's how that works well I ruined it just as much as she ruins uh cooch's content when she covers you right is it i thought you were cooch's jam i'm just curious that's another one that's like holy cow man yeah holy like, cow you down, can say that lady calm down maybe go outside maybe go to the grocery store and go meet some and old find man. a life i don't know find a life partner find or a man find something Find a hobby that isn't an obsession with somebody online. I, I just don't get it. Like, it's almost like, you know, when you're a teenager and you have this, uh, who the hell is calling me? And you have this, uh, sorry, that totally. One second, sorry. Is that the Smurf song? Ouch. It what is. Are you Good job. <laughs> I wonder if they teach their kids to be like this to other kids. Well, isn't Brooke's kid going after Siwa? I don't know about right now, but she was. Well, so then there's the answer to that question, isn't it? <laughs> and that was completely inappropriate. And according to the sister, the, the daughter, she's a lot meaner than her mom. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? We we're gonna be clapping like, "What the hell is she?" That's doing? a lot. That crazy, isn't it? The, the sister threatens C one and says, "By the way, I'm a lot meaner than my mom." Wow. Well, and you know what's really funny is I always told her that they are exactly the same, and they are. She just doesn't see it. That's exactly her. They're the same person. Okay, I'm gonna drop now because my pizza just arrived. Enjoy it. Uh oh, yeah. did you order it? <laughs> When oh, I okay. paused one time and got off camera, that's what I was doing. Because usually in this these parts, we usually don't order our own pizzas. They just yeah. come. 
Yeah. No, I'd rather anyway. choose my own toppings. <laughs> right. <prefer> that way. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. I will be Bye. in chat. The fuck? Hold on. Trying to. Oh, and you know what I wanted to say earlier? So when we were talking about uh, the uh, 90 Day Fiance uh, um bandit i don't know what you want to call her the bank bandit anyway i decided to pull up some stuff and you know usually when people get a speeding ticket they usually just pay it because it was 175 dollars and well oh the bond was 175 dollars she owes does it show what she owes i'm not sure but anyway she got an attorney there's look at she hired an attorney on the 25th it says notice of retainer well wait a minute on the 25th it says e-document file they file it was I don't know, paid for something. On the 25th, says notice of retainer filed by attorney Taylor Hart. Uh, on the 26th, a not guilty plea written. So she is going to plead not guilty to her traffic charges. Isn't that interesting? Her speeding charge. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying weird? to break into my Instagram account. Hold on. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, I got the wrong code. I don't know. It says it. it says bond amount one hundred and seventy five dollars and thirty cents. And it doesn't say how much she owes yet. I don't think. Well, wait, it says proceed to payments. Oh, she owes a hundred. Oh, she owes that amount. She owes one hundred and eighty dollars and twelve cents. Because if I click on it, that's what it says. But she's got a court date. I believe it's April 16th. Who does that? Worry about is her insurance going to go up? Uh, we were talking about Lita. Yes. Yep, that's the one. Who gets an attorney? Yeah, she did. She did. Isn't that weird? It's very odd. I just figured I'd click over here since he said her name. But yeah, uh, April 16th at 2 p.m. Initial, appear initial appearance. Come on. Speeding in 55 mile an hour zone. I can't drive 55. <laughs> um, I don't even get it. Uh oh. That's well, what I'm saying. I don't get it. Maybe she can't pay that. Well, wait, it says citation filed. I don't know. It says e-file document fee paid $20. And I think that was just getting the retainer for the attorney. But that's just weird. I don't know. What do you mean create a brand? What the fuck? What, are you in StreamYard? Yeah, like I have all my, all my overlays are gone. What? <laughs> you just had them. You were just, you were just using them. And they're all gone. Oh my God. How did you, I'll you can't right just back. delete them all. I think it's at the brand. Look at the top. Look at the top. Look at the top. Look at the top. You probably clicked on a different brand. I think, I don't know. Where the fuck is Xavier? What is happening with like all? You're a motherfucker is what you are. All my brands are gone. Are you kidding? How could you have deleted them that quickly? Everything's gone. The videos, the audios. Wow. No, you didn't. Where's Addie? Does Addie have access to that? Addie, help. Because we yeah, have the background's gone. Oh boy, what did he do? What did he do? What in the world did he do? Oh wow, that's rich. I've got my little box out. 
You're a motherfucker is what you are. But I freak the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, just me over here with my little box. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me. But I can't help it that I'm popular. Not only are you not a very nice person, you're also a slob. <laughs> I didn't even know I had that one. Uh-oh, what just happened? Uh-oh, what just happened to my box? Something just happened to my box. Oh, there, it's back. Oh, it just refreshed itself for some reason. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Psychological warfare, motherfucker. Don't you know who you're dealing with? Oh, by the way, it's Dr. Palermo. A forensic psychologist. You're a motherfucker is what you are. I don't understand this. I don't. I don't know why. Like, now like, I've lost everything on StreamYard for some reason. Well, happy birthday to you. You know what I was going to say, though? This well, is better than last year. Last year on your birthday, you were being accused of doing things to Clint Brady. So, well, you know what? The family of felons here. Oh, boy. Those three. Oh, boy. Husband, wife, and daughter. Do, oh do what you want, Brooke and Jason and felon daughter. I'm fine with it. You know, you have a family... Brooke Graham, arrested. Jason Graham, arrested. Both nurses, arrested. Daughter, arrested. All abuse, arrested. And um, that's how this works. All of them arrested. Isn't that crazy? How you could have a mother, a husband, and a daughter all arrested for literally abusing people. <laughs> you know yep there's some families that don't have that at all and there's that just seems to run they pretty rampant they family. really really do have that in um in common with each other the family that prays together gets arrested together i i guess uh so You know, and Brooke, I just, and to you and your people in your chat, good for you. I mean, like, you can't make money off of, off of anything else, so you make money off my birthday. Yep. Oh, look, Cooch is in there. Of All course she people. is. Uh, my B is going to be better yeah. than your owl. Like God, the most all the most horrendous looking people known to Earth. Look at have you seen their pictures all together? Look, can we do? Hey, you're Addy right now. Wait a minute, you're Addy. No, oh, I don't. Yeah, know. you are. Look at your avatar, Addy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did you maybe sign into her account? I don't. Know, it doesn't even fucking matter anymore, man. <laughs> Your Addy. <laughs> I think that has something to do with it, but yeah, he's like, I'm not Addy. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What's about a grandbaby? Anna, I know you're excited to meet your new grandson, and I hope your mom is doing well. Yeah, I heard about that, Anna. Congratulations. Look, Lindsay, John hasn't gotten a super chat in over an hour. Look at this. Look, look, look. They're la like, but you're calling me the grifter and you're talking about how many super chat you're counting the super chats I'm getting on a live I didn't want to do on a birthday that passed. <laughs> Are, you Are you kidding me? Oh, Lindsay! Lindsay! 
Yeah, you know what? Yes, Wisco Chick. It must be it must be my swearing that's that's stopping YouTube from sending me a super Wisco Chick, just go away. What is with her? I can't with fucking your mess anymore. Go the fuck away. Happy birthday to me with your bullshit. This is <laughs> And fucking chats. The first time I ever saw her, she was in my chat telling me how much I suck and how and how great Jules is trying to split Yeah, up. I'm so funny. And yeah, I remember that, that one. Next, her next thing, because she thinks she's slick, is that she's posting on my community tab how I blocked her because she's a top paying member. So that's what I do, guys. I normally block people who pay the $15 a month to I block you. Because I don't want, since you pay me the money, I block you. So fuck all you. Because um, that's the next card she tried to fucking pull. Was that, oh, I paid for John's highest level and he blocked me in my community fucking tab. And I'm like, well, if you're posting on my community tab, you're clearly not blocked, are you? And now here you are. And now what? What? Let's go, what chick. You you're do? probably that what other person that came in, that Donna. Whisco, chick, can you not swear when sending a super chat? I tried sending another one and it won't work. Well, then, like, praise Jesus. Go the fuck away and send someone, send one to Brooke, please. Go the fuck away. Fuck off. Are we good? No, Geneva, you don't understand. She is a no, troll. Geneva, She's done it before. Not, no, Geneva. This is not, not the first time. This is not her first rodeo. No, she's not. No, fine. Geneva, stop abort. You're wrong. No, you're wrong, Geneva. She's she's a, she's a shit stir. Oh my god. No, she's not. No, she's not. If she it, John and I know. No, you guys don't understand. This is not the first time she's done this. She's done this before. In fact, I really think that she was that Donna person. She came in here earlier and she's just like, or not, or not earlier. She came, it was a couple streams ago. And she's like, oh, Jules is really funny. She just kept trying to, she throws shade at John in a nice way. Yeah, I doubt she did. Because look at, look at you, Geneva. You're able to say it. If she couldn't say it, why can you say it? Fine. You know what I mean? It's a lie. I don't know. I suck. This is all getting shut down anyways. I can give a fuck anymore. Look at Brooke. Look at Brooke Graham. Amber's not around anymore. She's a so shit star, guys. Amber. She was barely here. In, and now I'm doing a birthday live. So this is what Brooke can sink her fucking teeth into. No, it doesn't matter, Geneva. She's a shit star. I don't like her. I'll say goodbye to her. She's done. This is not the first time she did it. And I don't doubt that uh, I don't doubt that she was that Donna person at the beginning of this saying that, oh, I wish I had money to super chat you, but I gave it all to Jules. I don't trust her. I'm with John on that one. I get it. I don't either. I had to find out through Sophie by way of uh, community tab that, that she is getting ro I'm robbing her because she can't access my high tier, but because uh, she's blocked. If you're blocked, you can't talk on my community tab or anywhere. Can't. But I'm fucking tired, man. I'm tired of these fucking people. No, but she's done that before, though. It's like she'll say something that is like borderline. Just like that Donna person said earlier. That's what's funny because that's who I thought it was. So whatever. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but... I don't know. Okay, no, it she did. Okay, she super chat five dollars. Oh, she said it's not much, but I wanted to show my support. Well, she did super chat five bucks. But Wisco chick, I'm sorry, you you sound borderline. Cash, I'll send it back to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm no, I'm like I'm being serious. Like I'm good. I I don't care anymore. I don't. 
I'll, give me your fucking cash app. I'll send it right back to you right fucking now. Problem solved. I don't want you feeling robbed. So you send me your cash app. I will send you back your $5. Problem solved. I don't care. I don't care. It's not two days ago she was bitching about me. I, 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 I just don't fucking care. It was actually five, not ten, but... Hulu. Go to Brooks chat. They'll open you with they'll welcome you with open arms. I mean you're already in Tony's chat, so that's all I need to know about you to be honest with you. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't take well, oh what you sent five bucks to to try to butter up to somebody. Oh, they really? Because usually five bucks doesn't break people. So well, there's another five. Oh boy, there we go. Very easy to be like, oh, I sent you a five dollar super because I care about you. When usually most people, five bucks is like nothing. So you know, it is what it is. Huh? Family of felons. A real life family. Oh, it's me. It's Addie's. It's my voice with Addie's picture. It's great. It's all things are going real south when that fucking happens. There we go. No, I don't think Jules is coming back up. She just kind of dipped. God, Brooke, it's just so sad for you. And thank God it's really not my birthday today. Because uh, I know, look at him talking about me on his birthday. No, my birthday can. I felt great on my birthday. And I wasn't thinking about you. But the fact that you, Brooke Graham, need to do this on my on my birthday live because you got nothing else in life. I mean, that just screams about who you are as a person. A bored nurse with a family that's been all a bit in jail. And um, this is your, you know, go on Good Friday, no less. You have four kids, Brooke. Four. Four children, Brooke. This is Good Friday. And instead of being with your kids or preaching good Christian values as a mom should on Good Friday to their offspring. This is your this is what you do. Cause your soul is and the people that follow you are soulless. Just to to the core. <laughs> 
to the core, man. Love you too, Mel. Thanks. And even I think, like, you know, imagine if I pulled this on them. Like, I'm going to go live during Brooks Live and try to steal Super Chats from her. Like, God. What do you say? What do you say to this? Like you just, all I want to do is have a fun birthday live and that was ruined. You know, there's no, they, they make sure that there is no escaping them. No one had a gun to Brooke's head and said, I'm going to stream John Yates' birthday live and make fun of him tonight. No one said to Brooke, hey, do this. No one. And had that not happened, then this would have probably been a fun live. But, you know, this is who Maria Vega, who I'm in court against, uses as witnesses and attackers and to fuck with people's lives. That's what she does. And I'm just tired of all of it. <laughs> you know, they're always saying like, we're getting attacked. No one's, you, you're the one putting us out there. what you're doing. I don't know. All I know is that I'm tired of it. And like I said the other night on Monday, like, what's the point? And if you can't even get through a birthday fucking live, really, what's the point? If you have these people so wanting to just like do whatever they can to make money off of you. And I say like, look how they make money with Cooch and all them. And look, look like with the rumble and like show you my, and, and look, look how much money they're making off me just because it's my birthday, because they're happy with her that she's ruining my birthday. So they're rewarding her for that with super chats on her stream. How do you fight that? <laughs> What do you what do you say to that? I mean there just aren't words. There aren't.
And then here we are. Trying to make sense of what they fucking do and... Stupid. It's all fucking stupid. Ignoring is never going to work. Come on, MTT. Over this. I'm so fucking over all of it. I really am. And I really do have, like, bigger things to worry about. My house is for sale, and they're going to build it. They're going to buy it and tear us down, like, in, like, I got I, bigger things to worry about than fucking Brooke and people on YouTube. Really could care less. Oh, they're going to knock it down. They're going to level this whole lot. My landlord owns half this block. This house, the house next to me, the house next to them. The house next to them and two houses behind them on the other side is this, is, is the whole lot. And they're going to be leveled for the fucking townhouses that they've been building all over this So, yeah. No, they're gonna they're gonna level this whole lot. Cesar Heights has gone through a whole bunch of change. They they they've been they've really knocked down like sixty percent of the town, and they're building all these. Um. four-story townhouse condominium type things and they're they're worth a million dollars a piece <laughs> like yeah like um i can't can't make, yeah, there you go. That's what they're building. Same seaside realty that's that has that's what they're building all over my town. Those four story um, condos. So yeah, you didn't see the the, the four story roof deck. Google it; you can see it. 
Seaside Realty, you'll see the whole floor plan. I'm sure they, I'm sure half of them have already looked it up already. So, yeah. Everything is gone. Oh, yeah, there's that. That's Brooke. Um, those, that's the family of monk shots that Brooke wants to preach on, on me. Um, on right is Brooke Graham's monk shot when she assaulted a peace officer. On the left, there's her husband Jason's monk shot when he assaulted... I'm not sure, Brooke, maybe? I don't know. And on the bottom is their daughter who assaulted, I believe, the both of them. And this is the woman right now in her family that wants to uh, shit down my throat. Crazy, ain't it? Oh, this is real. Oh, this is very real. That's the, that's the Graham family. Mother, father, daughter, all arrested. Nurses. Yeah. And now this woman wants to be the person that sits and shits down my throat during my birthday stream. Family of felons. It's a grand family. So remember when one of them wants to judge you? Remember where they came from. Why should I do her any favors? Why should I take it down, MGT? Why?
I guess you guys should feel bad for Brooks then. That's a family that want to cast judgment on other people on YouTube. Well, you know what, MCT? Everyone can go fuck off because I'm done. I was going to give this birthday life, the birthday live one last try. I was going to. I'm like, let me try one last attempt on YouTube and ruin it again. So I give negative 15 fucking shits at this point about this. And this is all for requested Freedom of Information Act, which they've gladfully and willfully have put on their channel about me so many times. So, Brooke, there you go. And all these three people, mother, father, daughter, all arrested within the scope of a year and a half. These aren't even old mugshots. They're all current. Current. But then they want to post Cody's mugshot from like over a decade ago. Current. So, Brooke, why, while you're judging me and making fun of my birthday party, why don't you tell us about your family and how you, your husband, and your daughter got arrested for all for assault on someone else? That's the truth. All these, these three monk shots are mugshots of assault of their hands on somebody else. And that's a family. She's smiling because she's happy. She finally got, she finally beat the shit out of her parents is why she's smiling. Cause they're so horrible. Go ahead, strike me. Report me. This is the John Yates birthday extravaganza, right, Brooke Graham? Right, Brooke? So I'm, I'm going to start playing your 911 calls, right, Brooke? Because it's my birthday and I'm having fun. Right, Brooke? Or maybe I should post the rest of the phone calls I got through the sheriff's department from you. Report my live. This is FOIA. Can't do it. And now the bitch on the bottom there, Brooke's stepdaughter, is actively threatening Siwa Moon. So this girl with a smile on the bottom, the daughter, is now going against Siwa Moon. Saying, if you thought my mother was bad, you haven't seen me yet. Wow. Oh, uh, uh, oh, the other daughter then. I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> that makes it better. So not this daughter, because I believe this daughter, this mugshot is because she beat the shit of her father. So I guess Brooke's own kid is now texting people. 
Oh, so it's oh, so so not even oh, so then we should make room for like the next mugshot. That is what you're saying because now Brooks' bio daughter is now threatening Siwa Moon, saying, "If you think my mom is bad, you haven't seen me yet." So let's let's make let let's let's hold a spot for the fourth mugshot here of of Brooks' next daughter, which will be in a family portrait. Wow, Brooke, how many people got working for you in that household, girl? Oh, there you go. There you go. Her biological daughter told Siwa she is way more powerful than her mommy. And how old is the biological daughter? 17? How old is she? And now the biological 17-year-old daughter is now threatening Siwa on, on Brooke Graham, her mother's behalf. Oh, she's 18 now. Well, guys, now, well, see what? You can get her arrested. She's not, she's, she's not a minor. What a family. So when Siwa presses charges on Brooke's now 18-year-old daughter, we'll have a fourth mug shot there. Damn, 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 Grams. You sure you don't want your sons up on this? Get them a nice mug shot early, nice, nice and tight, a nice tight shot. Brooke, why don't you get your 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 boys? Get them some mug shots now. Be proactive on it because you know what's going to happen because you you clearly are the world's best mom and parent and wife and step parent. Clearly, you you really know what you're doing, Brooke, and so does your husband. And the both of you are nurses. The both of you are registered nurses working in hospitals in Texas. Right. Okay, girl, you got me. You got me. Oh, you winning, bitch. You winning. <laughs> you winning, bitch. You got me. I guess I'll wait for a mug shot for Georgie. You got me. You out of my ass. I can't wait for like the next mug shot in the, in this series. I want to make baseball cards out of them. But Brooke, you are showing me, girl. You are showing me. Like I don't know how I could live with myself after the the real trashing you're giving me on YouTube because you're bored with your life. Oh. Oh, that's when Ratchet uh, um assaulted a police officer and got arrested. Because they're good people. Because normal people don't break through uh, their own w bedroom windows when, when their husbands are calling the police on them. And normal people um, don't get arrested from that site and then, like, hit police officers when they're trying to arrest her from the scene of a crime. 
No. It's a great family. That should be your Christmas card. Right there. Can we get on the grand mailing list for Christmas cards? Because I think that'll be mine at least. Merry Christmas from the Grams. We're living, we're, we're living the good life. Boy. I'd love to see Brooke at a PTA meeting with this showing behind the screen. Right, Brooke? Oh, PTA meeting. <laughs> you don't even know what that means. <laughs> Surely you've never been so on because you're too busy either not working or on YouTube trying to make money of other people's birthdays. I'm sorry. PTA meeting. Who was I kidding? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. That I even thought that she even knew what that meant. Oh, shit. What a good lie these people have. They're just so amazing. So amazing. Good people, like really, you know, just delivering their sentences to people who deserve them. It's really, really good here. <laughs> really, really good. And all that will go be, it's not going to help you because you are ugly. Clearly on the outside as well as in. Oh, no, this is going to be my Christmas card. Yeah, sure is. Um, yeah, like season's greetings from the family of felons. Um, yeah. This is what us tampering on YouTube has done. And look how happy we are because of it. Amazing shit here, guys. Amazing. It, it, it really is. And why is it they got to report it? They knew they're going to stream, stream this live. So they knew when they were streaming it like that I would pop something like this up and oh my god reported this is too much you're streaming my birthday like because you have nothing else to do because you're so miserable in your life and like it's clear that you're miserable and you're like because look at these mug shots you're just this, this is very clearly a sad sad family that like imagine being in that house and then she wants to sit on youtube from said house and cash judgment on people meanwhile like it's a mother dot mother daughter uh husband and other daughter uh they're like the fucking gravanos really look you got you got sammy the bull karen and uh you got the other bitch the daughter working on the side there what's happening here <laughs> we got our own texas karen gravano here How blessed we all are. Although that was an insult to Karen Gravano because I actually do have some respect for her at least. You know, this is just nothing. Just a bunch of ugliness. Oh, the daughter also wants to be a nurse. What is going on in this sick, sick family that these people want to abuse people 
They want to abuse themselves. They want to abuse their family, but then they want to go into nursing. Like that, that's something to seriously look into. Honestly, this girl wants to be a nurse and the, and the mother and, and the father want our nurses and look, and look at this. Could you imagine what's going on in these hospitals? Like, huh? No. Mm -mm. And that's the family that's and currently making fun of me right now for, for just just because it's my birthday. Just because it's my birthday, they have to go live and make fun of me. And, and there's no other reason than that. Because it's my birthday, she has to do this live and make fun of me. Because I'm trying to have a good time with my friends. And she, with the rest of her friends, who are only just completely immersed in misery, they can't have that. They can't. She has a little philistillery there. Just give her a tambourine, no name. And um, oh, no, not a tambourine, a symbol. Give her a couple of symbols in that picture and I'll give you a philistillery. And yeah. I'm sorry, I, I, I feel no nothing towards me having this up here right now because she had to go live. I, I, I said, I pushed my birthday live two times tonight because I didn't want to deal with this. I didn't want to deal with her or her bullshit. That's why I pushed it back. And every time I pushed it back, she pushed it back again and I pushed it back and she pushed it back again. So what the fuck was I going to do? There was no escaping it. And if I canceled it and did it tomorrow, then she'd do it tomorrow. So there was no out for me. No out. Fun, good times. Well, there you go, Anna. That's it. I mean, she's made that clear. Very clear. Like, she can only exist when she's attacking other people. Amber, me, Siwa. Look, look. That's all, that's all she's got. Three speeds. And some horrible fucking extensions and some bad Bogovi shots. And a bad temperament. Because, like, Lord knows. See what, I, I've never assaulted a cop before and got arrested for it. Sorry. No, I've never been arrested. So there's that because, you know, I can manage, but not you, Brooke, and not you, Brooke's husband, and not you, Brooke's stepdaughter, and clearly not Brooke's bio daughter that's going to have a charge on her uh, soon. And Brooke is all, it, Brooke's fine with this, getting her, her children involved. Like, that's how low you got to go, Brooke. God. But yeah, send her super chats. You guys are you guys are great. It's fine. She needs it. Lord knows there's a dishwasher that's about to break or a fucking roof that doesn't need fixing. It's fine. 
with a 20 grand she already got and did nothing with from Kathy. That's also fine, too. That's okay. That's okay. Right, Brooke? Right, Brooke? When you're going to, like, you know, you and Kathy's family are going to team up and get me. Right, Brooke? Right. But you're wondering why she's coming so hard on YouTube because she, I'm pretty sure Jason's still out of work, not sure, since his last arrest. You know, nurses can't be getting arrested for assaulting people. That's generally a no-no. Um, so it makes sense why they're doing this on YouTube to get money in whichever way they can because this is them. This is this family. <sighs> You're right. Right, Brooke. You're winning. Clearly, you're winning in life. Oh, yeah, that's their family's mugshot. I have on the screen because she's doing this to me, so Ooh, fuck her. Yeah. She looks about part of the family. And that's why they have people like Lita in their chat. Lita with three felonies and a misdemeanor that she's going to robbing her job. And they're all, oh, hey, oh, E11, right with your horrible forehead. E11, you're great with her. E11, this great big truth teller, is friends with Lita, who has been, what? Her robbing her job. F fake. And you you guys, right, E11? You're the harbinger of truth, that's right, E11? Oh, Lita, how are you? Oh, oh my God. Can I help you rob all, rip off another American bank? Like, can I, what? Oh. Fuck off. Or how about when Brooke tried to like get under my skin and, and bring up what, Josh Cedar? And then what did Josh Cedar do? Oh, he tried to fake his own suicide and got caught with it the next day. And Brooke was like, oh, John Yates brought, made, brought, brought Josh Cedar to do this. Meanwhile, he, he staged the whole thing. Oh, let's, let's type another time when Brooke tried to like get the one up on me. Oh, with Paul, who's a sex trafficker, allegedly, in Brazil, and his mother, who is in on it. Oh, you really got me then too, Brooke, didn't you? Look at the people you surround yourself with. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, Lord. And you're mad at me because I defend Angela. Okay. Oh, God. You can't make this shit up. You can't. You really fucking can't. Yeah. All her sloppy seconds trying to prove me wrong made her look even worse. It's yeah, you worse. every goddamn fucking time, and she still does it. Because that, that's the wherewithal of these people. They just, they just don't understand how low they've sunk. And they don't care because, you know, they're going down with the fucking ship. So who cares? Whatever. But yeah, bro, you sit and you and you cast judgment on me and everybody else with this family of monk shots you got going on here. And your next order will be next to the door you have below there. Oh, Lord. Oh. 
Oh, Brooke passed bad checks. <laughs> she well, then she's really good with the company she keeps. <laughs> <sighs> what hospital employs criminals? Oh, Susie, that's a good question. Um, Brooke was actively trying to make sure that her hospital didn't make sure didn't get catch wind of it. She told me constantly, "I hope probation will call my job." Because Brooke should have alerted her nursing license, her department, that she had gotten arrested, but she didn't. And the sad part is that Brooke told me that she only treats prisoners. There's a jail nearby and a lot of the um, prison medical stuff comes to Brooke. So could you imagine an inmate being there in Brooke's care mm -hmm. and Brooke being so high and mighty as she is sitting there with you know, a convict that might be in pain or, you know, really suffering. And Brooke's sitting here and saying, go fuck yourself because I'm better than you. Because I can see that. You know, especially when you're treating prisoners. Like, you know, those prisoners aren't going to go back to their house and, like, you know, go on Google or ratemynurse.com or whatever and, like, tell, talk about, like, how horrible the nurse was. No, they're going to go back to jail and not be able to speak but brooke you do treat mostly prisoners you do so those prisoners can go back to the jail and never being able to talk about how shitty you were as a person or a nurse or both uh-huh And when you see a family of felons like this, it really doesn't like, you know, help your cause for that you're like this, like, you know, clean, sober nurse person that just wants to be the best nurse they can be mm, and like help the people. Because no, Brooke, you don't try to help people. You go on YouTube and you, you try to ruin people's lives for the money that you're making off at least me right now, which is happening in real time. And that's what you do, Brooke. And that's why you've been arrested for trying to assault a cop. And that's why your husband's been arrested for trying to assault you, maybe, I think, or I don't know, somebody else. And that's why your daughter, your stepdaughter, was arrested for trying to assault the both of you. It's just, it's, just, ugh. It's, it's icky. And then for you to want to come up on YouTube and try to catch judge, that's just crazier. Like, you know, I, I you know I, I don't have much. I have a little cottage, I have a couple of cats, I have a husband, uh, but nothing I've ever said put my family fucking in jeopardy. I, I don't know. <laughs> But that, you know, the most, the majority of the Brooks patients are prisoners. But she told me, which I backed up on text. So it'd be really easy for somebody who's so abusive to just really treat the shit out of somebody who's a prisoner who really can't speak for themselves. That. You know, but then you're okay with Paul sex trafficking minors in Brazil. So I guess that works out. I don't know. I don't know. But 
But you know what, guys? I did not defend Michael. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I tell everybody, all these people defending Michael, that's fine. Defend him. Yes. Angela was shitty towards him. We've, we've all watched the show. But why did Michael come here? Which nobody can answer. Not one person can answer that question. Because you're all full of shit. If Michael was so put upon and abused and whatever, then he was safe in Nigeria. He could he never would have had to come here and get more in a land where he's never been. Where where people he don't know? Huh? Why did Michael leave? And not one fucking person still to this minute can answer it. Because they will answer it. Well, you know, he put his time in. He deserves to be a citizen. That's their answer. And they don't want to say it because they'll get shit on because of it. Because it's true. So, yeah. I do defend Angela. I've seen a lot that none of you have seen. And at the end of the day, why did Michael fucking leave? That's the answer that nobody could, they, they can't, they cannot answer it. Why did Michael leave? Why did Michael leave Nigeria to move to, to fucking Hazelhurst? Why can't anybody answer it? And everybody says, well, we watched Angela and they think, they think like they're doing, you know, we watched Angela abuse him for like seven years. Oh my God. Oh, that's horrible. You watch it for seven years. So then why did Michael leave? No answer. None. Crickets. Crickets. So that's why I say fuck you to all this Angela bullshit because like why can't one person answer that question? Why? Why is it so hard? Oh, we can, we went to the whole Gino thing and uh, Jasmine's been attacking uh, Gino with the veracity that Angela did to Michael, but no one cares about fucking Jasmine doing it, right? The first family of YouTube we have here, right on my screen. tired of them all. And like, you know, honestly, I'm good. <laughs> when I feel that I need to be on YouTube for something, I'll be here. But my life is miserable. I fucking hate these fucking people. I've tried over and over and over again. Every route that I could go legal, non-legal, whatever route, and I get shit down my throat. I can't stand fucking YouTube. I didn't want to do this live to begin with tonight. Uh, and I had to deal with a whole lot of other shit, and I don't care anymore. This is not important to me anymore. 
It's not. It's not. Especially, like, you know, seeing how people have to make money just to make money. Like, a big issue I had with Jolene and Busy when they were first, like, you know, doing this to me was, like, that the fact that, like, you know, they were, like, making fun of us, like, when we were homeless. That was, like, the thing for me, you know, with them. And, um, yeah, we were homeless. And, like, it was just, like, you know, people kicking people when they were down. And me and Cody were down. And we never heard of Jolene and Busy. And, you know, they were, like, making fun of us for being homeless, for being, like, in a motel, that the motel wasn't worldly enough for them, that they had to fucking show, like, the prices and the room reviews and this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, like, you know, we if, if we weren't living there, we would have been in a fucking shopping cart. And, yeah, we tried to, like, you know, you know, and, like, we did have to pay $500 a week to live there because it was peak summertime season. Um, but, you know, that fell on deaf ears. Like, you know, they, they, they pressed it like, oh, look, we're bragging about spending all this money. And, you know, it's, you know, doing Uber driving, like, you know, 80 hours a fucking week. It's like, I'm so tired of all this shit. I'm so tired of it. Like, no matter what we fucking do, it's never fucking good enough. Like, I, 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 <laughs> And, like, it's, I, I, I just, Is it sorry? I can't even. You know, all these people like they come at you, and then like I fire back against Shelly and Bitsy. You know, they were kicking me. You don't kick people when they're fucking down, and that's what they were doing. And making money off it and laughing. And then I fired back. You know, it, but, well, but people don't like when you fire back. You know, it's, well, fuck you. Don't put yourself in the position to get fired back on. Especially for me. Yeah, well, I'm sure. You know, I kind of understand Monica now when the whole thing went down between Nosy Ho and Monica. And Nosy Ho, like, just ruined Monica on YouTube with her friends. Like, you know, it wasn't fully Nosy Ho, but it was, you know, she was the captain in that chair and, and then I tried to get Monica back on YouTube over and over again. She goes, John, I, I can't do it. And she goes, you, you don't understand. And now I finally do, you know, I know what it's like to have like a lot of people watching you and then a lot of people not watching you. And that really fucks with you. And, you know, I didn't understand it from Monica all those times but now i finally do like once it's done it's done i probably have spent too much time trying to rebuild and moving all of my life because i didn't want to let it go um i worked my ass off for it i did 
And the, the annoying part is that all these people with just no talent, like Brooke and her friends and everybody has a YouTube channel now, and they just go live and, and trash people because that's all they know how to do. And then they make money off of it. So how do you compete with that? You don't. It just, it's stupid. It's really fucking stupid. Oh my God, Lita's in the chat saying I'm her new obsession. Oh my God. Lita, I beat you in court twice, honey. And you're facing three felony. You're, you're facing three felony charges and a misdemeanor, Lita. Lita, you sold the Corvette. I don't know. It seems like you have a new car. You, 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 try, you, you owe Sherelle 50000 Lita... The only people not making fun of you are the people in Brooke's chat because you're all losers and felons and owe people money, and that's why you're all there. Just so you can see this with my own eyes. Right to you, Lita. Lita, Margarita. You lost. You owe Cheryl. How much money? Okay, Lita. Eric got, like, bumped out of the army because of, like, you know, the shit that this your family went through. Horrible. So Lita, like I, I, I will be there for you when um you're arrested and are are spending time in the clink. And like the fact that Lita is in Brooks chat right now only shows what the fuck I'm saying. That felons and criminals and liars all defend themselves. Lita stole money from her own company, making ten dollars an hour. <laughs> wire, fake wire. She, Lita's facing three felonies and a misdemeanor, and she's in Brooks chat right now, making fun of me. Her own attorney just dropped her. These people have no shame. Like no shame. I guess you don't have to have shame when you're with a bunch of criminals because you're all criminals. So you all think the same way. I guess like, that's like, you know, how you have to like, think about it. But Lita, I beat you in course twice, bitch. But yeah, Lita, you got me with your, with your, with your unibrow. Yeah, Lita. With your dilapidated house in Baraboo, not Baraboo, uh, friendship. <laughs> oh, where's that fat girl? Where is it? 
Oh, and th- and didn't Lena just make also headlines for like getting arrested for speeding too fast, aka you kill people in Japan? But that's okay, Brooke. You have murderers and and felons in your chat. That's making you look all the better. Right, Brooke? And when the nursing nursing board sees that you have, like, convicted felons in your chat, that won't make it any harder for you, I'm sure. (laughs) Good for you, girl. Where's that money you owe Sherelle, Lita? Where's that? Where's the money you owe Sherelle, Lita? And where's the money that you have to pay for a new attorney because your attorney dropped you like a bad hat because you're a horrible person? Where's that, Lita? Lita. I can only imagine, like, you know, you are that unfortunate looking, like, in your 20s. I can only imagine how, like, rough looking you are now. Oof. Lita. So why don't you pay back all the money you owe to all the people you stole from, Lita, right? Because there is a judgment, Lita, that you have to to pay Sherelle and Perry 50 grand, right, Lita? You have to pay that. And then you have to deal with the restitution from your upcoming criminal court case where you're facing three felonies and a misdemeanor. So then you're going to have to pay restitution on that Lita, Margarita, Cohen, Cohenstein, Rosenbrook, Rosen. You hate Jewish people, but you have all their last names. Um, So, yeah, Lita, once you do all that... And you face the judge in your criminal court case, then maybe you and your your unibrow and your eyes that just go like the same way can sit in a chat and make fun of other people. Because until then, Lita, you don't have a fucking leg to stand on. And just like E11 praising her in Brooke's chat. These are the Eli, this this these are the people you want to wrap yourselves around criminals. Okay. No wonder why your husband's having issues. Oh no, Lita Lita hates Jewish people, Melby. Yes, absolutely. And to prove that, I have a picture of Lita saying that she hates Jewish people. Point blank. Yes. Point blank, I have it in her own words, right here on my phone, how much she hates Jewish people. And then she uses the last name Cohen, uh, Rosen, Lita, Lita, Aya Cohen, Aya Rosen. Uh, Eric's name is Rosenbrook. I guess she thought, wow, that was Jew City last name. But, uh, you know, Eric's not Jewish. Uh, so yeah, oh yeah, oh, 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 Lita hates Jewish people. Hates, she also hates Maria. I have, I have a ton of stuff on my phone about how, what she feels about, um, how Hitler, if, how Hitler didn't succeed the right way. That's all from Lita. Um, so yeah. And then she told me the reason why she picks last names like Aya Cohen or Aya Rosen or Aya this. And who the fuck is Aya? But whatever. Um, Is because people tend to buy Jewish items more. So um, they'd they'd be closer to buy Aya Cohen's footwear that she demanding people buy for what two hundred dollars a slide uh <laughs> she said well that'll get me more buys than me being Lita margarita so there's that
Right, Lita, since you're here, girl. Why don't you come up here and, from your Corvette, Lita? I'll give you the link. You want it? I'd love to see you in your Corvette right now. Tell me, telling me how great your life is, Lita. Come here, Lita. You come here. You take the link. Here's the link, Lita, just for you. Just for you, Lita. You come here and you take the link. Shit. I can't post it in the chat. Hold on. Invite. Copy. Damn it. Hold on. That's for Lita. You come up, Lita, and you tell us how great your life is. Tell us how great your life is, girl. How these three felonies you're facing are nothing. How you still don't owe Sherelle $50,000. Come up, Lita. You want to make fun of me and Brooke Shack because you're nothing like Brooke. So come up, Lita. Tell it to me. Tell, tell it to my face. And we're pretty sure Eric's Eric has to be done with you by now. I mean, like, how much money have you cost, poor Eric? How much? And who's Eric on um, Reddit again? What's Eric's name? Oh, Val Jean. Oh, I know I am better than her. That's why I'm here, and she's not. But yeah. No, Leah's not taking she's not taking the link, guys. And Lita is like we're all jealous of her. Like, guys, she's a medical doctor. <laughs> Don't forget. She's an MD. Crazy shit. Oh, still no Lita backstage. That's really disappointing. I thought with her as, as tough as balls as she is, that she'd really be here like guns blazing, saying how great she is and how she's not guilty of all the crimes purported against her. 
and she's not here. Oh, Lita. Mm. Crazy. Crazy. Because when you think about it, like, you know, Eric's not in the the, the resorts anymore, I don't think. Um, and she got fired from her job and facing her values for, like, wire frauds. It's like, you know, she can't be applying to other places. Like, oh, oh, why did you leave your last job? Oh, because I'm facing three felonies. That wouldn't be, like, a good way to go. Um, so how are you making your money, girl? I mean, we know that you're not paying Sherelle. Um, the, I, I hope that Sherelle put, um, a lien on your house by now. You're, you're three times dilapidated quadruple mortgage, uh, HUD housing bullshit house that you got in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. I hope that Sherelle put a lien on it. The lien's probably more than what your house is worth, to be honest with you. Um, so hope she did that. So when you do try and sell because you lost everything else, you can't sell that because guess what? Cheryl gets the fucking money, and I'll be there for I'll, I'll be there that day, um, t with with cotton candy and a, and a fucking balloon. Um. So that's that day. So good for you, Lita. You're showing me just like Brooke is. You guys are winning. Uh, you are winning so hard against me. So hard. God, I love these people so much. They really, they really just put the pep in my step. Um, and these are the people that we deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. It doesn't matter. I I'm looking for one other piece of so I'm tired. Ugh. Tired. Uh. Then you know, like this crazy woman, bald cat, posing as Georgie. Like, hello. Posing as Georgie, like you have this woman in their chat pretending to be my cat. Like, what? What the fuck is wrong with you, huh? So, like, then you got Crystal, who's the dark elf, Tammy, who's Johnny, Johnny Crack, uh, Tony, who's Glenwood fucking crack and. You know, all these people who, like, thought I'd never find out their identities because they couldn't help but brag about who... Oh, I'm, I'm taking this one down. I'm taking Johnny Eight down. So, make, you know, and never think I'd ever find out in a million fucking years who the fuck they were. Um, I don't know. I don't know.
I'm just gonna go. I honestly, I don't want to be bothered anymore. Oh, good night, Brooke. And I'm so sorry you gave me, I'm so happy they gave me this live. Thank you. Yes, Brooke. Yep, yeah, Brooke. We're gonna remember your you and your family tonight as you as you sign off. And we're gonna remember you and your shitty family, Brooke, as you sign off tonight. You your your family of felons, Brooke. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Brooke. Look at Lita in the chat trying to be a boss again, saying she's coming after people when she came to can't even afford her own criminal attorney. So, like these people, look at Lita trying to be a boss again. Meanwhile, Lita, you trying to go after people really fucked you over. You tried to go after Sherelle and me, and you owe Sherelle, you owe Sherelle fifty grand, which you can't pay on. Then you tried, you started robbing your job for more money. You Indonesian. Bitch, you come to our country and you rob you you, you rob good hardworking Americans and like you know and Lita, how is Eric a Marine okay with you robbing money from like good hardworking American businesses? I'm mean, like, right? Remember how Eric was so pro America and so like conservative. Where does Eric stand, really, with his wife stealing, wire frauding, fake money from an American business to their own pockets? Isn't that worth a bigger discussion? The fact that Eric Rosenbrook can allow his wife to steal money from American businesses to keep their affluent lifestyle going. I mean, because they were bragging about buying a Corvette, right? Ooh, I think I, I think I'm onto something else. Ooh, I think I am. Oh, I think I think I'm on to something here. And don't worry, the her natural daughter will be right right next to the stepdaughter in a week when her natural daughter gets arrested for fucking with Siwa.
Oh, Lita goes, why? He, look at Lita. Why he dropping Link? I don't speak idiot. I don't know what to do. That's Lita, bitch. <laughs> crazy. What a crazy fun family they have. Right, Brooke? Right, you psychopath. <sighs> Where are your taxes? Lita. Oh, look, we got we got the remnants of Brooks shot that just and just came it all came to watch me. You go go fuck yourselves. Bye. You and Lita. I think my next live will be an expose on how Marine Eric Rosenbrook is okay with his Indonesian visa adjustment of status wearing wife um, robbing Ameri good Wisconsin American businesses to put money into their checking accounts. I think my next YouTube live will be on that. A real expose about what really is going on with... Eric Rosenbrook uh, and how his wife decided to defraud an American company while he's so American and hoorah. Semper Fi. That'll be my next live. And I think the live after that will be a really uh, in-depth going into like the whole Brook Graham lineage. You know, her stepdaughter, that's a felon. She, she's a felon. The, 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 the husband's a felon. They're nurses. I think there's a bigger story there that the world should know about. How this woman, Brooke Graham, treats prisoners mostly. And, like, we don't know. Are there cameras in the hospital to see how Brooke... In this picture here with her husband and her stepdaughter, all their mugshots because they're a happy, you know, crime and family. Um, you know, is there proof of like, you know, do, do we know how Brooke is treating set inmates? Because we know how Brooke treats people on YouTube and um, it's not good. So I can only fathom like, you know, when she sees an inmate come into like, you know, her care area on the low grade treatment she probably gives said in May. And I've also had her on the phone with me several times over the course of the year saying like, you know, I can't stand these inmates. They deserve what they get. Like, I don't want to help them. Like, fuck them. So I think that'll be like a very interesting way to go with YouTube. Just really honing in on what these people are doing and what they do because they want to um, and then we could do like a whole in-depth thing because I spoke to Kuta's brother. Um, he can't stand her. Like, you know, the, the things with going in at that type of scale. Um, really just honing in like what, what these people really are behind the scenes and um, just shining a light on what this YouTube world really is about. Maybe that's the direction I should take my channel in. And then, like, you know, everybody who supports these people will be equally affected. I think that's a good idea. And then, like, you know, the people that support them, then we could do exposés on them. 
I mean, I have the ability to do it. And just looking from this family of felons right here on my screen, I'd say that we're deserved it. Because look at these people on YouTube. This is a family, a, a legit family of felons that we're looking at. Brooke, her husband, her stepdaughter. Well, that's Jason's daughter. But Brooke's daughter, her natural daughter, will be next on the list because Brooke's natural daughter is now threatening Siwa. So get ready for the fourth picture. Get ready for it. It's going to happen soon. I mean, like, not only like are they like you know horrible people, and they're both nurses, husband, husband and wife nurse team. Not only are they both horrible nurses, they've both been arrested for abuse, and they are now both getting their daughters in on the action. I mean, shit. And look how happy her, her stepdaughter is there, smiling for the camera. That's why, Brooke, sweetheart, just smile good when you get into that, that mugshot camera. You don't want to be me. So, yeah. And can you believe that these people have the unmitigated gall to go on YouTube and judge others? Especially me tonight when it, it was supposed to be just a simple happy fun birthday stream and she still couldn't she still couldn't contain herself. She couldn't she could not contain the hatred in her heart. She could not she could not see anybody happy, so she had to shit down my throat while she's a witness for Maria Vega. I mean, soak that in. That's a whole family of felons. And the top two are in charge of people's lives in hospitals. Lumber's head. The pride of Lumberton, Texas here. The Graham family, y'all. So... My advice to everybody in the chat right now, when you think your life sucks like I do, take, you know, take a screenshot of this picture right here. Take a screenshot of it and then, like, look at it and be like, when you think that your life is shit, look at this family of felons. That's a real shit mess right there. When you are feeling like it's you can't control life or like whatever, and your kids are like a lot of control, look at this picture and be like, look at this family. And they want to sit here on YouTube judging and making fun of people. That, that, that so, and to all the people in their chat who are thinking these are great people. Well, then you are just as derailed as they are, and I can't wait to see all your shit on the screen, like Lita. Don't wonder why Lita's there. Three felonies and a misdemeanor. No shame. No shame! Her husband, no shame. And Eric, what a sh what Eric Rosenbrook, you are a shame to the military. Eric Rosenbrook, who bleeds red, white, and blue, you let your Indonesian wife rob money from American corporations so you can get more money to pay for your Corvette that you couldn't afford in the first place? Wow, Eric Rosenbrook, you are shit. Well, you are shit, Eric, because your Indonesian wife made you give up 
control of your children. Told you not to pay for them anymore because she's all that you needed. So, Eric, you were just as shitty as Lita. Well, we all we kind of already know that. But Eric as a Marine, Marine, right? Wasn't he a Marine? Or uh, whatever. He, like, you are just really just bad, Eric. A, sh a disgrace. A disgrace to the uniform, Eric Rosenbrook, you are. A disgrace. <clears throat> and then these people try and say and cast judgment on us. Okay, not not anymore, Satan. Nope. No, no. <clears throat> oh, and, and Lita was also allegedly charged with killing people drag racing in Japan. Um, there's that. And then Lita just got, there was an InTouch article or page six that posted that Erica, uh, that Erica, that Lita just got arrested for speeding again. Okay, Lita. You keep showing us how badass you are, girl. But you're a medical doctor. Crazy. She's a medical doctor, but she has to steal money from, um, like a, a job that makes signs. <laughs> Nothing to do with the medical field at all. <clears throat> so yeah. All I know is that at not one point tonight did I cry or raise my voice or anything. Not once ever. Not the whole live tonight. Um, sure didn't. They did because they weren't they weren't happy with you know the results they were getting out of fucking stalking my birthday live. So that's on them, not me. Yeah, it's Brooke Graham and her family right there. And now... It's time we, we, you know, it's time that we report on it. Wish I can say it was a happy birthday. It wasn't. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Um, and I'm over it. So y'all have a great night. Bye.